Let's eat, people. Let's eat. Please, Ball Nation. Your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Lost Talk Radio. What's up, people? Let's get in here. Let's get in here. Let's get in here. Come on, people. Let's get in here. Sleaze balls. What's up, people? What's up? What's up? What's up? Let me make a minute. Let some old people get up in here. People, what's up? If you got the book, press one. You got the book, press one. Let me see who got that damn book. You got that book, press one. Let me know who got that book. This book, people, it came out last week. No, oh, shit, two weeks now, shit. Damn, two weeks now. That's what I'm talking about, people. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I like to see all the sleeves balls with the ball. If you ain't got the ball, make sure you, you ain't got the book. Make sure you go to Amazon and get the book, guys. Also got the book on uh, ebook on uh, Amazon. Also, shout out to all the sleeves balls who got the fucking book. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. It's still number one, guys. It's still number one uh, in my category. I right, appreciate that shit. All right, let me get some of these phone calls. Let's see what's up with the sleeves balls. Let's see who getting been getting ducked around, dicked around by some bitches lately. Let's see what's going on out here. Yo, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? Yo, Alpha, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, bro. What's up? All right, my G, uh, I know you started off by about bitches, what they got going on, but I want to ask you a philosophical question. Actually. All right, go ahead. Uh, I wonder which accomplishment in your life are you most proud of? The most the accomplishment I'm most proud of? It, man, putting this book yeah, out. In your life. Okay. Putting this book out, guys. All right, putting this book out is the biggest accomplishment by far in my life. All right, me? Writing a fucking book? Are you fucking kidding me? I better like to read. To write a whole book? That was a big accomplishment compliment for me, guys. All right? That's by far. I can't think of nothing even remotely close. Me writing a fucking book? Are you fucking kidding me? I, shit. Getting a book published? That's my biggest accomplishment by far, guys. Sleeves balls, what's up? What's is there up? Any particular reason why that particular book is is it because of its uh, accumulation of all the hard work you've been through? Well, the number one thing is I always have wanted to create screens of passive income. All right, and you know I never knew how I wanted to do it, how I was going to do it, but that's what I always wanted. I always wanted to do something that was going to create <laughs> passive income. All right, and for all you guys out there. <laughs> You done, bro? All right, so all right, let me get him off the line. Shit, he on. Now I got another question. Go ahead, bro. Do you have any moral principles that you abide by? Like you talk about, you don't have any morality when it comes to these females, but what about in general? Then, like, do you have any moral principles that you abide by? As a man. Yeah, bro. I'm going to tell you the truth, man. Obey the fucking law and do the best you can, man. Uh, right now, I ain't in no position where I'm going to do nothing stupid, all right? So, man, all you guys out there, and I know I'm talking to a, a younger audience, so that's why I try to, when I say the stuff, I try to make sure that I know I got a lot of young guys listening to me. Guys, you know, try to stay on the right side of law and just do everything the right, the best way you can, all right? Don't be doing stupid shit. And I know I got some guys right now watching this who probably – do some shit illegal and shit like this, guys. Listen here. Ain't nothing more important than your freedom. All right. <laughs> My boy said obey the law. All right, bro. I'll holler at you, man. All right. I appreciate that, man. All right. All right. Hope we don't get no more conscious people calling up here, man. We're trying to fuck these hoes to sleep. What's up, people? But yeah, uh, writing this book, guys, is by far the most uh biggest accomplishment I ever had in my life. Me writing a fucking book, I'ma just tell you now, shit. Nobody could have told me that shit five or ten years ago. Yo, what's up, bro? 
Hey, what's up, Alfred? What's up, bro? Nothing much, bro. Um, I got a quick question about about um faithfulness in these bitches and shit like that. So mm-hmm. I got I got a fucking girlfriend mm-hmm. and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And the only reason she became my girlfriend and shit like that, because like you said, you know, if you got a girl in your rotation and shit, one thing leads to the next and she's submissive and da 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 da. Long story short, I made her do 100% of the thing, doing and shit like that until I kind of got an attachment to her. Now she's my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. But then one thing that has me is uh, the videos that you posted. You posted two videos on Patreon. Mm-hmm. Do women cheat on alpha males? Mm-hmm. And can you trust them? Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering, like, if you seriously want to keep a girl in your rotation or or keep a keep a girlfriend or whatever, but you know these bitches will cheat at some point, how do you keep, like, a, a peace of mind about that shit? Guys, what he just asked was, how do you keep a mind if you know women will cheat eventually or sometime or shit like that? Basically, just knowing female nature, just knowing that it's going to happen. Just not, guys, that's just like expecting to put a steak in front of a dog and say, well, what if he eat it? I mean, you know the damn dog going to eat it, all right? This is part of knowing female nature. You just have to expect what you expect out of women. Know what's going to happen when you're dealing with women, all right? Y'all guys when walk around a strange pit bull and expect them not to bite your ass, right? So don't expect, don't expect more out of women than what women are. That's how they're wired. They're going to do what they want to do, all right? This is one of the things why y'all see... Uh, Lucario say he got an open relationship because he said women gonna cheat anyway. All right. So that's one of the reasons if you ever, you know, watch Lucario videos, one of the things he always says why you got an open relationship because he knows it's gonna what's gonna happen anyway. That's why you just keep it open. All right. So what he basically is saying is he knows female nature. All right. So that's the bottom line with that guy. That's why I don't want no girlfriend. All right. Because I know what's gonna happen. If I was, if I was to get a girlfriend, it'd have to be something like that, an open relationship. All right. Because I ain't finna be walking around here watching my back and shit because I know how females are. All right, cool, bro. I got one more for you. Go ahead, bro. All right, so how do you how do you go about truly making a girl submissive to you? Because the problem is like the, the shit that you say is like disrespectful and shit like that. I don't really experience that, mm-hmm. but with my girl and shit like that, she's not disrespectful to me. She she don't raise her voice and shit like that, but she just has this 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 thing where she wants to fight the submission almost like. You tell her don't do some shit and she does it anyway, but she's still very feminine around me and shit like that and ride the shit out of me, suck the shit out of my dick and shit like that. But I'm trying to completely capture this. Picture. All right. So first of all, guys, so what he just said. Story, hold on. Hold on, bro. Not, hold on. Hold on. I can't answer one thing at one time. Hold on. Let me answer yeah. that first. All right. He's trying to confuse uh, shit tests with complete submission. Guys, even when a woman submit to you, the shit test never end. All right. So she still got to check every now and then just to make sure you still got your alpha dominance. All right. So that never going to end. So you won't just because you got a woman submitted, you think like, OK, that's it. I'm set for life. It don't work that way. You you, you have a submitted on Friday and by Tuesday, ass be testing again. So the test never going to end ever to the day you die. I don't care if you live, be with her till you're 90 years old. She going to test periodically. I don't care how much, you know, you mm-hmm. got her submitted. She still going to got to test every now and then just the way it is, bro. She, the All thing right. is, the thing I is, one, go I ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. And I got one more quick scenario for you. I want, I want you to tell me if it was a shit test or some disrespectful shit. But long story short, I was laid up with my girl one day. Mm-hmm. And we were on dorm or whatever the case is. We were in the bed. And she went downstairs to go smoke with a dude. She know I don't smoke and shit. So she went out there for 10 minutes. She called me. Saying, babe, put on clothes, put on a shirt and pants. I asked her why. She told me to just do it. She come upstairs with the dude, talking about she wanted me to mingle with the dude and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And the dude came upstairs, whatever the case may be, and we were all in the room for like 10 minutes, and then mm-hmm. the dude left. Mm-hmm. And she kind of knows I didn't want her hanging around that dude and shit like that. Is mm-hmm. that a shit test, or is that just her trying to be friendly? Well, was the dude a friend, or what was that? It wasn't an ex-boyfriend, and then was it? Like, this is just like... No, 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 no. This is just like her weed plug or whatever the case is. Her who? It was who? He's a weed plug. He, he supplies her. He, she buys weed off of him and shit like that. And she bought him all upstairs and shit like that? Yeah, I would have took that as total disrespect. I don't play shit like that, bro. All right? You ain't no goddamn cook, okay? All right? So in a situation like right. that, I would have probably pulled all the way back from her. All right? Until she came back and apologized. And you know what would have happened once she apologized. She would have had to suck a whole lot of dick. dick all night. Yeah, don't <laughs> now, guys. 
periodically women going to do shit like this. Women are just testy by nature, guys. You know, don't get offended by it. If they do small tests, you know, you check them. If they do big tests like this, you leave them and wait till they come back and beg you back. That's how I handle it. All right. Because, you know, how most guys try to handle it, they either try to out talk a woman, talk loud, or they get abusive and shit like that. You don't make women submit like that. You make women submit by them knowing you got the strength to leave. All right. That is the, that is how you show women strength that I can leave your ass. You don't show women strength by getting an argument with her about this dude. Who is this dude? Why are you bringing him here? All this other bullshit. You don't you let her know that. Listen, I don't appreciate that bullshit. You know, I'm out of here. All right. And when she went to call him begging back, let that bitch come back and she's going to suck a whole lot of dick. That's how you handle that, bro. Don't tolerate no bullshit like that. All right, Alpha. Keep doing your thing. Appreciate it, bro. Peace. All right. My man, Alfie Kingdom in the building. Shout out, Alfie. <clears throat> Alfie Kingdom. I think he changed his name, though. He changed his name to Dominance Mindset. Y'all better get over there because he's going to be top-notch mindset next week. My man changed his name every other week. I, shout out to my man, Alfie Kingdom, though. He's going to be just Alfie Kingdom. I mean, I ain't finna goddamn get into all these damn name changes. Dominance Mindset. And raw and game. God damn, Alfie. How many times you gonna change your name, man? God damn. All right, let me let me make him a moderator. All right. All right. Shout out my man Alfie Kingdom in here with the super chat. Appreciate that, brother. All right, my man Clarence Campbell. Never trouble getting females. Always had game in the looks. I got my own business and retired from the army at 25. You helping me improve the fine skills and use tactics on these women I never knew of. Thank you for your wisdom. Appreciate that, Clarence Campbell. Appreciate that for the super chat. Appreciate that. All right, let's get back on over here. What's up, bro? Shout out Pretty Gang. Appreciate that, Pretty Gang. Yo, what's up, bro? Hello? What's up, bro? Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Go ahead, bro. What's going on, FMS Strategies? What's so, up, bro? Um, I was calling to ask, basically, um, with a lot of these females that I talk to, I don't um, I don't give in, I don't validate them and whatnot, but I always, it always seems like they always have like a lot of low interest. And um, I usually won't, I won't over pursue or anything, I'll just chill. But it doesn't seem like, like when I pull back, they usually won't chase harder. You see what I mean? All right, so let me answer that so first. I keep having the same results where. All right, let me answer that I'm, first. I'm I'm cool with leaving. I'm not scared. All right, bro. Let me. Hey, let me answer that. I'm not that. also getting any results if I'm not getting into chase either. All right, bro. Hey, hold on. Going forward, guys, when I say let me answer that first, the reason I say answer that because I can't try to answer four questions at one time. All right. So let me answer that first. The reason why when you pull back and you want them to pursue is they ain't got nothing to pursue. All right. This is why I tell you guys to make yourself a catch. All right. To them, you nothing. You nothing to pursue. All right. So fuck your pullback. That's what you got going on. So you need to either probably work on your swag, work on your dress, uh, get on your purpose, hit the gym. You haven't made yourself a catch. So that's the thing. I've been, in, I've been hit. I've been hitting the gym. Mm -hmm. I've been on my purpose. Mm -hmm. I don't like. I said I don't like. Do I don't do anything that puts me in a weak position. Mm -hmm. So all right, there you go. I got you right here. So guys, here's the thing. When I tell you all this shit about going to the gym and getting on your purpose and shit, that in itself won't do nothing. What I'm hoping it lead to, what it's supposed to lead to, is some swagger, all right, to some masculine frame, to you are seductive, all right? So that, I hope that's improving your confidence so that when you round these women, it improve your confidence so the way you got, you know, good seduction to where they want to pursue you, all right? So... When I tell you guys to hit the gym and get your dress, that won't do it in itself. What I'm hoping that, that it does is that it increase your swagger. And that's when you sitting with, on the couch you're, with a girl. You're saying to build your confidence? Huh? Say what, bro? You're saying to build your confidence? Build your confidence, which leads to bigger swagger. So when you sit with a girl on a couch, all right, it gives you a sense of entitlement to where you better a better seducer. You better seduction, all right? So, well, she miss you. So, guys, if y'all guys go watch my video about conversing with women and shit like that and how I talk to women and shit, that's what women are going to miss. I'm hoping, I'm hoping by you improving yourself, doing the self-improvement, that that increase in confidence 
improve your seduction all right not that the clothes by itself is gonna do any fucking thing all right and this is why you know i get on to the other dating coaches because they try to compare guys who got this shit naturally it's some guys who got that shit naturally in a fucking sweatsuit and it's some guys that don't all right so the guys who don't got it you know i'm hoping doing the self-improvement gets you a better a seduction mode all right if that makes sense in what i'm saying all right so you can hit the gym you can improve your wardrobe but if your seduction don't improve won't that matter so when you with these women you need to learn how to make them feel a certain type of way all right you want your clothes to make them feel a certain type of way or your muscles that ain't gonna do it i'm just hoping that improves your confidence which it should that naturally anybody in the gym and dressing better and shit like that get on a purpose it naturally improves your confidence all right so you need to stay working on your seduction when you with them you got to improve your seduction brother that's the only thing that's gonna make them pursue you oh, would, oh, you, mm -hmm. would you would you say that you kind of uh the seduction happens way before you even hang out with her so working on yourself being on your purpose all these things are kind of done before. basically what i'm trying to say is it's like most of the work is already done before you even hang out with her no no no. Agree with that? no 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 the seduction happens when you're with her on a date or when you're hanging out with her the way you make her feel the way you talk all right the way you know how to make, put her in a certain type of mood. See, when you in your masculine frame and you seducing, you putting her in a feminine frame and she just get drawn to you. All right. Your clothes won't do that. Your car won't do that. Won't nothing you got. Won't no muscles do that. The only thing that can do that is you. The self-improvement supposed to help you get there to that swagger. All right. But it won't do it by itself. All right. If that's, this is why you see guys who have money and stuff and they still struggle with women because they want the money in itself to do it. And it won't. You still got to get good at seduction, getting a woman to feel a certain type of way to where when you not with her, she need to get another hit of you. All right. When your women ain't around you, they don't miss shit because you ain't making them feel a certain type of way when they are around you. You got to make a woman feel a certain type of way when she around you to where she ain't when she ain't around you she calling and pursuing you because she need to get another hit of you like you a drug or something all right like you that seductive drug like you make her feel a certain type of way all right and i'm gonna tell you something right now i can just hear from talking to you and shit like that. i can just hear from talking to you i could tell just from your tone of voice and shit like that you're not a good seducer i can just hear it in your voice you need to work on some seduction Hell brother. yeah yeah, yeah. Hmm? I, I I don't know what, what the rest of the people who watch AMS like how old they are or any of that. I'm all, me and my friend. I got me and one friend who watch pretty regularly. Mm -hmm. and we discuss a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm only 20 right now, mm -hmm. but I've been working on my purpose for, for like the last two years. Mm -hmm. And I, I know it's never gonna end, but I'm just saying that's when I really started to take it serious and I really started working on myself. Mm -hmm. But I know it's still gonna follow me a while. But I still try to go out. I still try to you know the game and pick up bitches, but it doesn't really. I don't, I don't know. I think it's something that I got to work on, like on my inner game. That's, that's the bigger problem. Right. It really, man, just come down to some confidence. And when you've been with a woman, a sense of entitlement. When I bet you with these women, you giving them a friendly, a friendly type feel. Like it's more like a friendly type feel. It's not more like a sexual type feel. You know what I'm saying? And the reason I know that, because I used to do that when I was a teenager. I, I used to get these get women up. Like I would talk to a woman and it was like I'm talking to my friend. All right, not seducing. All right, not trying to get her in the mood or nothing like that. Well, that, that's the thing. I, I've been trying to, I've been trying to avoid that because that's the thing. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to come across because I'm trying to be their friend. Right. But at the same time, I don't want to be like, I don't want to be so cut and dry that they, that they like, they just, they, they don't even know that I'm interested in them. Do you see what I mean? Like, no, kinda, I don't know. No, what no, the no, no. Mix between no, no, no. Um, when I'm not seducing, trying to come across with a friend and not also trying to be like I'm not even interested in, uh, I mean, in them at all. No, no, no. See, you you going to extreme. When I'm seducing, I still don't compliment and shit like that, but I'm seducing. All right. So I tell you not to touch women and stuff like this at the restaurant because you're gonna fuck in the restaurant. But once you get a home and stuff like that, now you're making your move. Now you go to touching and stuff like that, and you're trying to progress to sex. And you talking, and you got you got to work on the right pitch of voice. You got to get in the seductive mode, brother. It's the whole thing. 
All right, it's the whole thing. It's the voice. It's the it's the whole body language. The whole laid back demeanor. Body language is all that shit into it. All right, you basically trying to seduce this woman. You need to, any kind of friendly feels and stuff like that. You got in your mindset. All oh, that got to go. It's got to be a straight seducing. Now, if she back at your house or something like that, she pretty much put herself in a position for you to seduce her. All right, and so, but that's just gonna take some time. You twenty, you twenty, you twenty years old. You know, I don't expect you to be a master seducer yeah. tomorrow, you know, but I'm just putting in your mindset of why these women are not pursuing you when you ain't around them. They ain't, you know, they're not going to pursue you if you don't make them feel a certain type of way when they with you. You got to make them feel a certain type of way when they with you. And it's just what you talking and how you acting, like your body language and how you talking to them and stuff like that. You got to learn how y'all guys got to learn how to seduce these women. All right. So, guys, I hope y'all guys don't go out here. And, what, what's, your mind, what's your mindset towards them? Like, what do you think? With that, you see, let's say you're out and you see a girl you want to go talk to. Mm -hmm. You for, from like the one of the videos you said, you basically just walk up, you say, "Hey, you you gauge the interest level." But from there, like, where do you? Like, let's, let's say you do a night game and you're out at the bar. Mm -hmm. All right. You still gotta hang out with her. You still gotta like, get her to know you. No. Like, what do you? What do you? Like, how do you go about it? All right. Last night I went up to a girl at the bar. And her and her friend was taking a picture, and I went up to her and I said, I need to be in this picture. In other words, what's going on right now that I can relate, that I could jump into this, you know, interaction or whatever going on? So I seen them taking the pictures and stuff. Both of them were taking a picture, and I said, ah, can I get in this picture? And they was both turned around and laughed, and then one of the girls, she, I guess she had a boyfriend or something. She went here, and the other friend came around this way. So basically what I'm saying is I used the situation or what was going on? Let's say hypothetically you um, meet a girl at the ice cream, whatever, get some ice cream or whatever. You're going to say, uh, you know, that's a lot of calories or something like that. Whatever the case may be, like what's going, what's the situation? That's how I jump into it like that. Like what's the situation that's going on right now? All right. That's how I like to get into it. Like in a situation you go into or whatever the case may be when you end up uh, going up to a woman, what's going on? Is y'all out somewhere eating or you meet her shooting pool, throwing darts? What's going on? That's how I like to get into it, like that right there. All right. So the girls are taking a picture. I came in and said I should be in that picture right there. That's how I got into it. All right. And got a phone number and stuff like that. So look at the situation. That's how I like to get into it. If that makes sense. Gotcha. Thank you, AMS. I appreciate it. All right, bro. Appreciate it. Later. Take it easy. All right. Shout out JR Wisdom. Appreciate it, brother. What you said? Uh, a hangout. JR Wisdom, shout out JR Wisdom, man. Y'all go there and check out JR Wisdom uh, channel. Don Balsalini, shout out Don Balsalini. Appreciate the super chat, brother. Who is this right here? Matthew Chong, bro. A girl that previously friends on me is now acting different. Wanted to hang out more and texting me more because I told her I'm seeing another bad bitch. How do I fuck that bitch to sleep? I would just invite her over, brother. All right, that's how I would treat a girl like that. I would just invite her over. I wouldn't take her out. I would say, hey. How about you come over for some drinks or whatever? Or we order some food or something like that. That's how I would treat a girl like that. Kamani Jackson Cuts. Had a threesome last weekend. Thank you, AMS. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, brother. Good experience. Good experience. That's why I like to see. Thank you for all your game. Mickey James, thank you for all your game that you have been given. I wish you nothing but continued success. Appreciate that, Mickey James. Appreciate that. Keep on going down. Check these super chats out. Shout out J Speak J S P K Fitness. Self improvement isn't easy, but it's worth worth it. Stay grinding. Y'all go over there and check out my man J S P K Fitness. Now this a this a true supporter because my brother here he talk about this on his channel. He just lost his or he losing his job and he's still in a super chat super chat and ten dollars. So I appreciate that brother brother looking for a job and still showing love. And support, appreciate that. Done bought every t shirt, done bought the book. True supporter, y'all go there and support the brother SPK Fitness. And it's another SPK Fitness, so make sure y'all get J, 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 SPK Fitness right here. Go join us, support his channel, guys. Good guy, support his hustle. Good brother, just lost his job, still in the super chat, supporting. Appreciate that. All right, let's get some more phone calls. But uh, let, before I get some more phone calls, let me talk about what I was talking about with old guy. All right, guys. So when y'all going up and y'all meeting these women, 
what's the situation that's going on all right look at the situation as a whole what's going on are y'all eating ice cream like i told y'all guys how i met the girl at the bar last night she, they was taking pictures all right so i use that as an opportunity to use that as the way to get into the conversation all right guys so just kind of look what's going on don't be a robot with these fucking generic ass you know you've been running through my mind all i know your feet tired running through my mind my mind all day whatever the case that bullshit. don't be using no generic shit like that like that girl know that that was some i had just came up with because they was taking a fucking picture all right so trying to use the situation of what's going on wherever you at if you meet the woman kind of engage what's going on y'all at a museum you can ask to do she come here a lot whatever the case may be but just try to be original it ain't got to be funny or nothing like that but it's just use the situation to get into it guys that's what shout out kobe Foth. got a girl number thursday when should i call got a girl number thursday if it's me if it's me i would probably call a wednesday and set up a date for saturday brother that's what i would do if you try to call her like i'm gonna tell you what'll happen if you call her like monday all right this is what'll happen if you call her monday if you call that girl monday and you stay off the phone and set the date for saturday unless you're gonna set it during the week or something all right but if you're gonna try to set that date for friday or saturday what's gonna happen on friday when you try to send her the location she's gonna say well i ain't heard from you since monday so i made other plans all right that's what you're gonna get all right that's why i like if i know that i want to take a girl out friday or saturday i like to hit up wednesday or thursday all right that way she don't expect to hear from me again until the date all right call too early all this shit's logistics all right if you call too fucking early the bitch gonna think well you gotta call me again wednesday so we can check things out and i gotta make sure you ain't crazy and all this shit call her like 48 hours before the date guys that way she don't gotta expect to hear from you again before the date all right that made that mistake shout out ballhead jamaican two dollars for us broke cat now ballhead jamaican bought my book and gave me a good uh a fair book review Let's go check out the homie ballhead jamaican uh book review he gave me guys he gave a uh, honest book review that's my dude you know what i'm saying i respect his intelligence any of you guys watch his videos and shit like that you know the brother's highly intelligent so i respect it his book review because he's highly intelligent so appreciate that the brother is very smart anybody familiar with his work know that so shout out to ball here let's get some more phone calls people yo what's up bro what's up bro what's up bro hello what's up what's up bro hello? yeah what's up bro go ahead yeah what you, what you think about uh a kind of words you know like he's he trying to say he's like a free thinker who you know what I'm saying? like i said man what do kind of words what do you think about him uh i think he'll fruit loop well we're gonna keep it today and today bro i ain't finna get into all that kanye crazy shit he got going on I'm gonna keep it. My boys here to fuck hoes to sleep today. They ain't worried about no Kanye. Fuck Kanye. What else you got, bro? That's it, bro. All right, bro. Yo. What's up, bro? Yo. I be having guys on hold so long. I guess they say, man, fuck that bullshit. Yo. Hello? What's up, bro? Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? What's going on, man? What's so, up, bro? Uh, I had a question about body language. All right, go ahead. So, okay. So, I know that you're supposed to have your shoulders back. It's supposed to be relaxed and all this and that. Mm -hmm. So... So uh, usually, like when I take uh, women, like because what I like to do is I'll, I'll take a girl to the park, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's kind of because I'm only five seven. I'm 160 pounds. I mean, I'm not jacked, but I'm like I'm I'm very lean. Like I'm pretty ripped. Mm -hmm. So I know that when women first look at me, they're not thinking alpha male. Like they're thinking, okay, this is like a boyfriend, and I'm on my purpose and all this and that. Mm -hmm. Have a decent car, have a good job. So. Um, what I basically try to do is 
try to slide in like I'm trying to be the boyfriend. And then I'm not trying to like, well, what do you say? I'm not trying to contradict what they think about me. But at the same time, I, I'm still being out the mouth. Mm-hmm. So when I'm uh, taking them out on a date, like, and I'm going to the park and stuff. Mm-hmm. So they'll tell me, oh, we should go this way. And I'm like, no, like, we're walking this way. Mm-hmm. And when I'm sitting down, it's, it's mostly about positioning. Mm-hmm. So um, when we're sitting, should I face her? Should I just look forward? And then should I look at it? Like, I know you should definitely keep eye contact. I know that, that's a given. But it's mostly just about positioning. And also, like, when you're at the bar, like, do you face her? Do you, uh, like, when you're at the, when you're at the actual bar, do you sit facing her or do you sit, like, kind of straight? I, like, I don't know if it's a confusing ass question. All right. So it, when I'm sitting at a bar like that, and I just did that, uh, Friday and Saturday is I'm facing them. All right. I'm facing them. I'm making eye contact. All right. I don't want to face away from them because it might look like I'm not confident or some shit like that. So always face the girls. I right? make eye contact. Because you don't want to do nothing that's going to make you come off as you're not confident, all right? And you looking the other way at the girl right here, and I'm looking over here and shit. It looked like I'm not confident, all right? So I want to look at the woman. I want to make direct eye contact. And guys, please understand something about eye contact. That's part of the seduction, okay? You guys need to know that when y'all making eye contact with a woman, you know, the way you look at a woman, that's part of the seduction, okay? All right? Displaying your confidence, making locking in eye contact, all that's part of the seduction, all right? It ain't just touching a woman... When seduction is, you know, your voice pitch, eye contact, all that, and touching too. All that's part of the seduction, guys. All right. A lot is being said with the eyes. All right. Y'all guys need to know that. A lot can be said with the eyes. All right. So when you're looking at a woman or whatever the case may be, that's part of seduction. Y'all guys need to know that. Always, if you're in a position now, not when you're walking and no shit like that, you ain't going to be walking, looking at the girl like a damn fool, walking straight, you know, looking like a damn fool running to a damn tree. No. But when you sit down, you know, Face her so you can look at her so y'all can make eye contact. All right, cool. So uh, I do have another question. Go ahead. So I am talking to this lawyer chick, mm-hmm. and so I know she she finds me very attractive because she texts me mm-hmm. damn near every fucking day. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, like, God damn, dude, like I'm not trying to talk to her every fucking day. Like, I, I'll text her like like you say, respond four hours later, mm-hmm. and then ten minutes in between. Mm-hmm. I only messaged her about four or five times a day, but she te- she literally texts me every single day. Do I tell her to like like I'm fucking busy or because I'm not trying to what's it called? Right. Her, I'm not. I'm basically not trying to respect her. All right, so when you have a situation like that and the girl won't stop texting, then do a drop off. And what I have, what I'm talking about with a drop off is, all right, so say she texts you eight o'clock in the morning and you respond to it at lunchtime, and then she texts you right back, and then you respond 10 or 15 minutes later, and then she texts you right back, and then you respond 10 or 15 minutes later, and then she texts you again, do a drop off. That means that you might not respond to her phone text again until like 7 30 that night. All right. That's what that's what I do when I got a girl like that. You just do a drop off. So you don't respond it three times and she keep texting back. Now you do a drop off and you just respond to it when you get home, settled in at night. That's how I would do it. I have that sometimes. Just do a long drop off. And that means that it might be six, seven hours. But if she won't stop texting you, that's what you have to do. Just do a long drop off. All right, cool, cool. And another uh, another one thing, last question. One more. Let me let me get to uh, something you said ahead. first. Let me get to something you said first. You said women are perceiving you alpha because you short five seven and one sixty. Bro, I know a bunch of guys who are alpha that size. I don't say a bunch, but I know guys who are alpha that size. All right. It, alpha is not about your size or none of that. Alpha is about your mindset and the way you carry yourself. All right. You got an abundance mindset and you think you can conquer the world and shit like that right there. And you think that you can conquer the world. That'll make you an alpha male. It, 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 a beta males, they just naturally accept that they're a beta male and they're going to work for people all their life and they're going to get one girlfriend. They're going to have three kids. That's what they think. Alpha males don't think like that. Alpha males think that every fucking woman wants them. The alpha male thinks that he can sleep with any fucking woman. The alpha male thinks that he can do anything he want to do. All right? He think I can be president if I put my mind to it. All right. So your size ain't got shit to do with you being an alpha male and then like that. It's just your mindset and the way you carry yourself, brother. All right. I know a bunch of bitch ass dudes that are fucking 6'5", 275 at the gym and straight beta males. 
All right, so that ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah. All right. Uh, the last question I had was, so I'm talking to this chick that just got out of a, rela a relationship about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I know she's still talking to the guy, mm -hmm. but how would I go about getting her on the date? Because, I mean, I've never talked to her in person. I just added her from uh, on Snapchat, mm -hmm. and I'm texting her through that. But uh, once I do get her on the date, mm -hmm. well, first, how would I do that? If because I know she's gonna still have feelings for the guy, so like, what do I talk about with her? Because I know like I can't be talking about a relationship if you just got out of one, and mm -hmm. most likely she's not gonna just want to be fucked. She possibly, yeah, but most of the time not. So what? like, what do I talk to her about? Well, you ain't talking. You trying to get her to do the fucking talking. You shut the fuck up and ask questions. You shut, You say the least as much as you can. Okay. Even when she asks you a question, you keep that shit short and you put it right back on her. You shouldn't be doing a whole bunch of talking. The thing is to get her to do a lot of talking. All right? Now, you got some women that are slick and they know how to try to put it back on you. You got to learn how to fight through that shit and put it right back on their ass. All right? Because here's the thing, guys. Y'all got to understand about women. And I, I seen somebody talking shit earlier, talking about something. Take a drink every time he said, here's the thing. Well, here's the thing, motherfucker. I'm going to keep saying, here's the thing. Y'all got to understand that women go on these dates to disqualify y'all ass. So, yeah, you just go on talk your ass out the pussy. All right, women go on these dates, show up with their little checklist and shit, and they show up on the date, and they like, all right, I got my little checklist. Okay. Boom, boom, ask you a question. Boom, oh, he out, he out. Uh, nah, he don't go to church. He out. I can't do nah. Mm -mm. I can't date no dude that don't go to church. All right. So that's why you want to get them talking because the more they can find out about you is the more reason they can disqualify your ass. All right. So that's the thing. Women go there. They try to protect their pussy and shit. They try not to get that shit up. John Sykes, appreciate that super chat, brother. All right. So that's the thing with that, brother. Keep your motherfucking mouth shut. All right, bro. All right, cool. I appreciate it, man. All right, bro. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Somebody sent me a super chat, and the shit started going too goddamn fast. I couldn't fucking read the fucking bullshit. All right, fuck it. Whoever that was sent, sent me a super chat. They and coaches say looks, money, and status don't matter when they obviously they know they do. And why do they care? A women, we lie to women for sex. All right, so here's the thing with this, guys. Don't y'all guys know that other dating coaches say looks, money, and status don't matter because they can't sell that. All right, and guys, y'all need to understand that dating coaches don't get paid to fix y'all fucking problem. All right, I'm gonna tell y'all what's wrong with dating coaches. Dating coaches have a scarcity mindset, and what I mean by that is. Instead of just helping guys, this is a big fucking world. Like, I don't need you same guys following me a year from now. It's a big fucking world. I hope I fix all y'all guys' problem. And next year, I got two, you know, a hundred and some thousand other beta males that's over here. But these guys, they don't really want to fix your problem. They just want to keep them same guys chasing their fucking tail because they have a scarcity mindset. Like, it ain't four billion other beta males in the world trying to learn how to get laid. All right. I don't need the same guys that follow me. Let me tell y'all guys something. A lot of the names that I saw when I first started YouTube, I don't even see them no more. Obviously, I fixed a problem and they have moved on. Congratulations. I don't want to see the same motherfuckers keep following me year after year after year. I hope I fix you guys problems and y'all get the hell on. All right. You can't stay in the second grade forever. All right. And you can't stay a fucking beta male forever. All right. I don't want you guys watching me a year from now. I hope I'm fixing the fucking problem and I see a bunch of new guys here this time next year. A lot of these guys here, I don't even know none of these guys from when I first started. I remember some of the names. I don't even see some of the guys when I first started. Obviously, whatever problem they had, you know, I done fixed it and they done moved on with their life. And congratulations. That's what I want. It's a big fucking world. I don't got to sit here and keep the same beta males chasing their fucking tail by ch telling them looks, money, and status don't matter, all right? That's the thing you guys got to understand. These dating coaches, they have a scarcity mindset, and they just want to keep the same guys chasing their tail. Ch if you go to some of these dating coaches' channels, you'll see the same guys come in on they because they can't fix no – they don't fix guys' problems. The same fucking guys on their fucking page come in 
All right, I don't even recognize some of you. Most of you, ninety nine point nine percent of these motherfuckers on here today, I don't even recognize the names. All right, because the guys who was on here six months ago, nine months ago, they gone. They fucking hoes to sleep right now. They done graduated. They got their little sleeves ball cap. They got their little sleeves ball gown on, and they fucking hoes to sleep. And they don't need to watch my shit no more. And good, that's what I want. I don't want to see the same guys over here. All right, so that's the thing with that guy. And why do they care if we lie to women for a sec? All right, so here's the thing, guys. I never said a lot of women. All right, that is a myth. All right, that is one of those things where, um, where they try to change the narrative and shit like this. Guys, lying to women is kind of productive. I said lead women on. That means that if a woman say you want a relationship and you say, yeah, if the right woman comes along. That's not a lie. Technically, that's the fucking truth. You just not going to be it, bitch. That's what the thing is, guys. But they try to uh carry this narrative that oh he lied to women he lied to women in actuality they built my brand because then guys were like well who's this guy talking about lying to women all right so guys i never said a lot of women lying to women is stupid you want women knowing you date other women it's stupid i never fucking said that only thing i ever fucking said was you don't if a woman come up to me like when you my age guys you're gonna meet women that are looking for relationships all right and so a woman say uh, you just casually dating or you are uh, looking to get into a relationship. I say, yeah, I'm open to get in a relationship. It's the right woman comes along. That's the only thing I ever said. That's the only thing I never said. I never said, tell a girl, yeah, you my girlfriend. So that is stupid. Now you got to look over your shoulder and shit like this. And, and to tell a woman you're not dating other women so she can. That's counterproductive. You want a woman to know you dating other people. That's making her respect you and gain attraction from you that other women, women want you. It's stupid. All right. So, guys, you don't lie to women. If a woman come up to you and all my red pill brothers here and she come to you and you on the first date and she like, are you open to a relationship? Technically, it's not even a lie. All right. It's not a lie. I'm, I'm not opposed to getting a relationship. She just have to make five million dollars a year. Double D titties. Pretty face. Look like a young Vanessa Williams or Tyra Banks. That's not too much to ask for. I think I'm being reasonable. I mean, hey, my standards are kind of high, but hey, that's what I expect. All right, but my man G check, that's why they don't they not here to fix guys' problem. They here to fucking keep these guys chasing their fucking tails. And Benjamin Botwe, if you're a good looking dude, you don't need to be alpha. Bull, I, you, listen, guys, you don't need to be alpha, period, to get laid. Beta males have babies every fucking day. All right, y'all don't think nobody getting laid by alpha males. Shit, you don't gotta be an alpha male to get some ass. You can be a beta male and get some ass. All right, so that's the thing with that, guys. See who else we got here. Oh, here we go. All right, let's get some more of these super chats. Uh, somebody donated four ninety nine and then deleted the message. And my man, Mister Goodbar, thanks to AMS. Now I got girls begging me to fuck them. There you go, bro. That's what I do. That's what I do. My man, Yannick Lombit. How do you make moves for a kiss? When to kiss and where should you do it? You make moves to kiss when you at the house. All right, that's when I make a move. You're gonna fuck in the restaurant. All right, you make a move, you want to kiss her at the fucking house. When to kiss. All right. So this is after about say you've been at the house 15, 20 minutes and stuff like this. Now you want to start making your move, start seducing her and shit like this. And where should you do it? I always start on the neck. All right. I preferably don't like to kiss these bitches in the mouth because I know where they mouth being. All right. And I'll tell y'all about that later with a mouth being. All right. Y'all don't want to know it hurt your little feelings. All right. Do some people have no purpose just to work a nine to five? Um, well, those are those are what we call beta males, bro. That's that's what we call beta males. All right. Most people are going to die working for people. That's how that works. Yeah. So a lot of people like that. Zentana's clutch. Ironically, the fact that you're giving actual advice is helping you retain clients even after we fuck these hoes to sleep. Screw these snake oil PUA salesmen. Appreciate that, bro. 100, baby. 100. Ooh, wow, boy. Ooh. Only problem I'm having is getting rejected, even when I get choosing signals. Well, that's probably going to be your approach. If y'all guys see some shit like that, that's going to come down to your approach not being on point. If you get choosing signals and they're not attention whores, because we know those bitches are existing, and they're not attention whores, 
then uh, that's why you probably getting rejected after choosing signal. But I would look at your approach. Are you making a confident approach? All right, that's where that's gonna be coming from. Are you making a goofy approach? Are you hesitating? All right, do a girl send you choosing signals and you sit around and thinking you goddamn king of the universe for 30 fucking minutes and then you go carry your ass over that approach. That shows lack of fucking confidence. You're supposed to get on that shit right then. A girl show you choosing signals. I ain't say you put the sprint over there. All right, I don't want you guys to goddamn get carried away. I said you see a girl choosing, you say, hey, I'm I gotta, I gotta get over there. I ain't say that. I, you know, you see a girl choosing, you gotta walk over there and make a confident approach right then. You hesitating 15, 20 minutes, like, I think that's a choosing signal. Wait a minute. Let me check the book. AMS wrote a chapter on choosing signals. Yep, that's a choosing signal. No, guys, you don't do like that. You got to get right on it, all right? Get on it. You see a girl choosing? Even if it's not a choosing signals, even if it's not a choosing signal, just go ahead. If she turn you down, she just turn you down, whatever the case may be, but don't hesitate. That shows a lack of confidence. Frederick Johnson, tips for who to prioritize when more women than time all right so when in this situation right there who the priority is a good ass question i ought to make a video about that all right who i'm gonna prioritize is the women who are showing me high attraction that i'm attracted to all right that's the way that works so let's hypothetically say i got a girl that's an eight that's showing me high attraction but let's say it's a girl that's a 10 and she's showing me low interest all right i'm gonna pursue the eight who's showing me high attraction guys that's how i'm gonna pursue it it's gonna be easier all right so always and you supposed to only be talking with women you're attracted to so i'm just gonna hypothetically say all the women you're attracted to i'm gonna pursue the women that are showing me high interest because it's gonna be easy i ain't got time to be over here pulling teeth from this bitch. all right i'm gonna pursue the women that are showing you some interest guys show the pursue the women who are texting you first all the women that think they too good to pursue or send a good morning text fuck them pursue the women that are showing you something all right you you the prize also all right fuck that all right so that's how you prioritize that bro prioritize the women that are showing you attention showing you interest all right hey wall i love this shit. don't talk yourself out the pussy goddamn right bros do not talk yourself out the pussy keep your fucking mouth shut it's best that way riding spinners what tips you got for single dads who have 50 50 custody of your kid full time job and fit in purpose i hope that 50 50 custody is not no child support i hate when i see shit like this and the motherfucker is still paying child support so i hope that this 50 50 custody shit means that he ain't paying child support but it depends on like when he got the kids i know that most times if it's 50 50 custody usually the dad get the kids on the weekend or something shit, like friday saturday sunday some shit like that and uh so i would do the purpose the other days all right so monday through thursday and maybe the dad get the kids friday saturday sunday or some shit like that but that's when i would do fit in purpose right then but guys you always got to make time to fit in purpose all right purpose all right even if it's only a couple hours a day all right being on your purpose maybe you can't if for all you guys out there that's working 12 hours a day doing jobs you fucking hate all right understand that if you can work eight hours a day on your purpose then go ahead but if you don't hate uh, one hour two hours is better than nothing all right that's what i say any time you can put towards your purpose, and I know you guys out there got full-time jobs and shit like this, and you maybe can't just put everything into your purpose right now, and I understand that, but any time is better than no time. Even if it's just an hour a day, make an hour a day. Just like I tell you guys about going to the gym. If most of you guys can't afford, uh, have the time to go to the gym four or five days a week and work out for an hour. But hey, three times a week, 30 minutes a day is better than nothing. Uh, three times a week, 30 minute workouts is better than nothing, all right? Frederick Johnson, following your advice causes that problem. Yep. Chris Anthony, when do you chase? When do you no contact? When do you chase? Matt, you know what? I think he came. Y'all know what channel he came from? No, no, no. I, I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say that. We ain't going to say that today. But uh, he done slipped on the wrong channel, guys. We don't chase over here, baby. This is this the land of alpha male strategies, baby. Them bitches chase us. We don't do that bullshit. When do you, you mean pursue? Is that what you meant? You meant pursue. Okay, so I'm going to take this as pursue because I know you ain't come on my channel talking about some goddamn chasing. All right, so I pursue 
when the women is like cooperating all right so let's say hypothetically you call the girl you ask her out and she said oh, i'm kind of busy or shit like that i'm not gonna pursue that i only pursue when a woman is showing me a level of interest all right i'm not saying she gotta hit back or flips and shit in the middle of the street because i asked her out i'm not saying all that all i'm saying is when i ask the woman out she make time out her schedule to see me not none of this oh i'm not available this week i want a woman that makes the time everybody has time to date even if it's only for an hour one out the week guys any woman you i don't care if she got three kids I don't care if she's going for her PhD and I don't care if she works 60 hours a week. She got an hour somewhere. All right. And you ain't gonna tell me because I done had a girl who had a full-time job and went to school full time and she still made time to come see me in the middle of the day, guys. This is back in Alabama. All right. So can't nobody tell me otherwise. I ain't saying somebody got time to lay up under your ass all day. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is every woman got an hour out their week to see you if they really want to so if she ain't making that happen then i'm gonna stop pursuing that's how i'm gonna do that when do you know contact i always do no contact when they either not cooperating or i don't so like say she disrespectful and i don't pull back that's when i don't do no contact until she hit me if she never hit me good fucking riddance done motor cars appreciate that brother Alan Dry, how to get girls in high school. The same way you get girls at a car wash, the same way you get the girls at the club, same way you get the girls at the swimming pool, the same way you get girls any fucking well. You see girl, a girl you're attracted to, you go up to her and you make a confident approach. All right. All women are the same, guys. You know, all women are the same. It, it just basically boils down to mean women that find you attractive. It's just that fucking simple, guys. If you see a woman, she's sending you choosing signals or whatever case, or if you don't believe in choosing signals, and that's on you. You see a woman you find attractive go up to her and ask her out bro it ain't it that's it ain't no magic tricks i know every time i check out one of these pua dating channels or something they always got these new terms we call this leveling or we call this miking they have all these stupid ass terms no wonder you guys are so fucking confused because they have all these crazy ass terminologies and shit. i like to call this the refrigerator move like they just have some of the stupidest shit. no wonder you guys are so fucking confused and don't know what to do my man Yannick Lombat, I'm 17 and live with my mom who's always and doesn't like me bringing girls home. What should I do with getting a hotel? Well, if listen, I would not get a hotel, bro. And I'm going to tell you why I wouldn't get a hotel. All right, you have to find a friend or something like that. The only way I get a hotel if I already fucking her. All right, if I already fucked her, then I get a hotel. But if you get a hotel and you haven't fucked her, women change their minds. All right, so you could seduce a woman and then she could be agreeing to having sex somewhere. So let's hypothetically say y'all somewhere at the park and she like, let's get a room. And then you go get the room. So this like 30, 40 minutes. And just that quick, she done changed her minds, but you out of 50, 60 bucks, depending on where you at. All right. And women are entitled to change their minds. Everybody change. She get cold feet. All right. I done had this shit happen back in the day. That's how I know. All right. I ain't pulling this shit out of thin air. So unless there's somebody you already having sex with, I wouldn't invest into a hotel room, bro. That nod that you dropped on credit was great. I got my first mortgage approval on, on my investment probably from your advice. Appreciate that, bro. Anybody want the credit? That's on the uh, fucking uh, Patreon page. I got a video on credit and shit. Yeah, we talk credit and everything, baby. I'm building high value men over there. We ain't just fucking hold to sleep. I'm married and my wife still stay together but separated but still have sex from time to time. What should I do? I'm married and my wife still stay stay together but separate still having sex from time to time all right so here's the thing bro you got to let her bring everything ain't then you can do all right anything you could do anything you try to do is going to come off as needy and pursuing and uh, chasing and all this shit you're going to make her feel uncomfortable she probably just like things the way she is this is the thing y'all guys got to get to understand about women all right she probably fucking somebody else right now too so don't come at her she probably want to do that wife husband thing she probably just want to be a free bird right now and fuck around and it's funny man women are like this why men are like this every guy just feel like they need to be in a fucking relationship man just enjoy your freedom she is so i wouldn't say nothing to her about it you know let her i guarantee you she probably fucking two three other dudes she enjoy herself you don't kept on lockdown now nah, boy she getting her fucking freak on oh she getting a freak on she get to fuck you with no attachment and i get to go fuck tyrone and billy and oh man this is great this is oh man 
this is true female nature all right now you're getting a taste of it all right so don't say nothing about it just enjoy this i will get out and meet other women bro all right that's the thing ain't nothing you could do if only thing you're gonna do is lose that sex you're getting if you try to progress things let her be the freak she want to be you just get out and date other women all right that's how you handle that bro j lucas nutrition ams thanks for providing a platform to shape and sharpen men shopping my game i have been with hundreds of women and i'm always looking to improve use your technique this friday at the club and took her home that night good shit jay lucas nutrition fucking these hoes to sleep y'all go to any of these other dating culture channels y'all don't see y'all know y'all don't see comments like this on their channel hey man i took this girl you see a bunch of confusion y'all ever notice that y'all go to some of these other guys live streams and shit and see y'all see all these compliments the shit i get hey man i did that at work i fucked this hole to sleep Hey man, I took this club strategy at work. I did a fucking asleep. And you go to these other dating channels, all you get is confusion. That's all you get. You, you never get nobody come through saying, hey man, I did what you said and I fuck you don't get nothing. You get nothing but a bunch of confusion <clears throat> about body language. AMS, you always talk about body language, but can you give a description of masculine body language? All right, the guy who was on the phone earlier, he had it down cold, chest up, shoulders back, eye contact, guys. All right, that is masculine body language. All right chest up shoulders back eye contact that is massive not staring don't get your ass beat all right i ain't say you don't stare at nobody don't get your ass whooped come on time something hey, mr make eye contact i got my ass whooped now don't stare just make eye contact strong eye contact and then you know but you don't stare like a damn somebody gonna whoop your goddamn ass all that damn staring all right but that's the main thing guys shoulders back chest up eye contact Ryan Spinners, no child support cuts is eight days of every two weeks. All right, so that sound about right. So it, <clears throat> here's the thing. Anything is better than nothing. So anytime he can put on his purpose is good. If it's only an hour a day, guys, then it's an hour a fucking day. When I first started doing YouTube videos, I was doing all those training sessions a week, and I only could make those, you know, eight-minute videos at the beginning. That's all I had time for, all right? So as time goes on, he'll have, as his purpose starts to take off, he can take down his other thing and start putting more time into his purpose, all right? So as my purpose started to pay, I was able to do less and less sessions, and now I'm able to put more and more time into this right here. Devontae Morick went to a bowling alley last night after an MMA event, was talking to everyone, having a good time. Two women approached me and bought me shots. Good shit, bro. I like to see that. Y'all ain't going to see no comments like this on other people's channel. You're going to see a bunch of confusion. I, I check them out. I don't never see no shit. Like, all I is a bunch of confusion. If you know that a girl will go along with plans that you make, but she doesn't contact you unless you contact her first. Do you no contact and see if she chased because of one will if she cares? All right, here's the thing. What I call that, Chris Anthony, is I call that moderate interest. So you got three levels of interest with women. You got low interest, you got moderate interest, and you got high interest. Low interest is the woman will never contact you and sometimes when you contact her she won't make herself available that's low interest moderate interest is is she'll never contact you but when you contact her she always makes herself available and high interest is she will contact you and obviously she probably even asking you when she's gonna see you again that's high interest all right so what you got is moderate interest so when i see moderate interest i look at a woman that's probably being schooled all right she probably read somewhere she probably read a book or some uh not your mother rules or the power of the pussy that tell women not to pursue men e e uh, ever, all right? So she's displaying moderate interest, which means that she's probably being schooled. So she might actually be high interest, but schooled, all right? So just take that as long as she's making herself available, bro, you are right, all right? More than likely, she might even be high interest, but she's just disciplined enough not to pursue you, all right, or initiate contact. So that I wouldn't take that look into that. What you look into is when a woman stopped making herself available. Now we got to look at some shit, all right? Because now she's not making herself available, all right? You got all these hours in the week. You got 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you can't make an hour or two so we can meet up for drinks. Now we got a problem, all right? Now we got a problem. As long as she's making herself available, don't worry about it. More than likely, she's just structured or she got a game plan. Y'all guys got to understand, women have game too, all right? I told you guys, I know y'all got... Women are just stupid sitting around like they ain't got nothing to do. No, women strategize. We catching up to them. Women invented the game. We catching up to them. Y'all know we playing catch up. All right. Cosmopolitan, uh, all these magazines and shit. Long before these 
these are magazines and shit been putting women on game. We we just catching up. We still behind. All right, y'all know how Russia, you know, they put uh, the spaceship in the in the in this universe first, and America was playing catch up. We still playing catch up. All right, we ain't caught up yet. Women got game too. This is a strategy she's employing. All right, this is to keep you in a weaker position. Don't worry about it. Fuck that hole to sleep and don't listen. This is the thing with a woman like this, right? She got high interest, right? So this me tell you, you gonna win at the end of the day. I'm gonna tell you how you gonna win, because as her feelings develop, she gonna want to see you more and hear from you more than this one time a week you reaching out, you know, making contact. All right. So at the end, you still gonna win. All right, because at some point, if you're seducing her, right? If you're seducing her, right? Because if you're not seducing her, right? She ain't never going to pursue your ass. It could be six years from now. And you'll be like, LMS, you tell me she was going to stop pursuing. It's been six years and she's still not pursuing. She won't pursue you. If you know how to make her feel a certain type of way, she's going to want to hit her that. All right? You got to make yourself a drug. A drug that she need more than once a week. All right? When she need a hit of Chris Anthony more than once a week, she to get it, you're going to have to reach out and initiate contact, baby. All right, because I'm not giving you more than one day a week until you reach out and give me contact. And even then, I'm still not going to give it to you. But you're trying to get it. But you're still not going to get it. You can't get a piece of Chris Anthony like that, baby. I don't give Chris Anthony out like that. All right. So you got to consider yourself a drug. Consider yourself a drug that you got to make her need a hit of Chris Anthony. Right now, she don't need a hit of Chris Anthony because Chris Anthony ain't hit no shit. All right, so you got to work on that seduction to where she need a hit of that Chris Anthony. All right, until that happens, once that happens, then she's gonna reach out because now she want to hear from you more than once a week. She want to see you more than once a week. MS, have you ever hit rock bottom as a man? Hell yeah! Then I, you don't, you don't see how many videos I got about living in a funk ass basement. That's the epitome of rock bottom. Shit, man, you stole fucking throw it away furniture in a basement. Shit. Hell, I wouldn't even put my goddamn clothes in the basement. Goddamn. And you hit you hit rock bottom. What the fuck you call basement? Goddamn, I got like 10 videos talking about me living in a goddamn basement. What the hell you call that? Living a high life? Shit. All right, Alan Dyer, how to have options when you shy? How do you start? <clears throat> All right, so what I call shy is, I call shy lack of confidence, all right? Somebody came up with shy and made it, a, you know, uh, you're just shy. No, it's just a lack of confidence, what I call it. So as with anything to have options, you need to make yourself a commodity, all right? You guys, listen, dicks grow on trees, penises grow on trees. Women can get that from any fucking well. Make yourself a commodity. That's how you get options. Make yourself stand out. All right. So you got to make yourself a commodity. You're not standing out right now. That's why you don't have options. All right. And get rid of this shy shit. That's not like a, some kind of shit to feel sorry for yourself. All right. Your ass ain't shy. You need to get some confidence. None of this shy shit looking down at the ground and shit. I'm going to You ain't got no confidence. All right. So you need to work on your swagger. Get on the self-improvement. Work on your seduction. Next thing you know, you got one girl. Next thing you got two girls. Next thing, that's how it goes. All right. Everything starts to, you know, Grow exponentially. But get rid of that shy shit. I don't like that terminology. It's like an excuse to be non-confident. That's how I look at it. My man, Chinese group, appreciate that, brother. Mr. Goodbar, is telling a girl you want to fuck her, her is validation? It depends on where you at. Telling you want to fuck on the phone. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. You giving her attention, whore, plenty of validation. Yeah, if you talking on the phone. But if she on your fucking couch, hell no, that ain't validation. That's the truth. All right. That's the thing with that. But I would, you know, I would never tell a girl I want to fuck her. All right. Let your actions speak loud and words. She'll know when my dick up inside of her that I want to fuck her. That's all that you, you let your let your dick do the talking for you. You don't gotta do no talking. <clears throat> what do you what do I do when a girl doesn't reply to your text? You gotta wait till she hits you up, brother. That's the thing with that. You gotta wait. I don't a week, two weeks, a year, never double text. All right. It could be a, a test or it could be low interest or no interest. Don't hit her back again. How do I make myself a drug? Well, you got to make yourself the complete package, brother. The complete package. All right. What I mean. All right. So let me explain this when I say make yourself a drug. <clears throat> when, when, when you are with a girl, 
you got to get her addicted to being around you all right that seduction when so when you are not around her she needs another hit of you she needs to see you again when you're not a drug to a woman she could kind of like i don't give a fuck if i ever see this motherfucker again and like if he come around great if i don't see him again ah, man, i don't lose no sleep over it so you need to make yourself a drug as an aspect of when she's not around you she's calling and pursuing you that's the only way a girl calls and pursue you guys is when you've made yourself something that she got to have all right so my man chris anthony up there he has to make himself a drug she needs to get she needs to get addicted to being around him and i tell you guys you still only see a girl once a week unless you want a relationship but you know y'all guys know that's not what i teach over here but if that's what you want then go ahead but in other words you making the girl chase your validation she's trying to get more of your time because she need to get another hit of you all right but here's the thing you never give her the hit all right that's what's got her the drug you like a challenge but then she need that seductive that masculine frame the whole package all right that's the thing with that guys then that drug is called alpha male strategies baby and i'm asked that's a girl i just met on tinder out through snap she agreed but didn't reply when i said a location she snapped me four hours later a pic of her going out with her friends i didn't reply that's a shit test right no that's what we call uh, a fan all right a, a, that's what we call a celebrity responding to her fan all right this is why i tell you guys listen oh you said tinder okay i'm thinking about snapchat okay so tinder is a day now okay so i i, I give you benefit of the doubt since it was on tinder all right so i wouldn't in a situation like that yeah i would i would classify that as a shit test brother yeah i would classify that as a shit test you as long as you didn't pursue her again i would classify that as a shit test all right so basically what you have is you have women on here and they trying to see which guys on here are desperate or which guys on here kind of could take it or leave it all right in a situation like this a lot of guys and i've talked to women they would have started sending mean nasty texts you stupid bitch you could have just told me you know y'all guys don't know how so crazy some fucking some guys are fucking crazy weirdos guys all right so you show high value and she reached out to you again or whatever the case and then you got butt hurt or whatever the case i would have responded to it i would respond i would i wouldn't say that about her not saying that about the location but i would have said oh thanks for the picture or something like that and left it at that all right you showed a little butt hurt right there i didn't reply now uh, you showed a little butt hurt no let a woman get you see you butt hurt all right i would say i want to ask her hey did you get my last no i wouldn't have said no shit like that i would have said oh thanks for the picture all right just let you know bitch, you ain't hurt me i'm all right god damn chris Anthony, you got paid bro god damn he back <clears throat> i had sex with the, this girl on day three but i went want this girl to chase me now it doesn't seem like she's reading some books she still goes with guys here's the thing <laughs> do y'all guys know do y'all guys think women out here think y'all following my channel do y'all think that all right so the thing with this is this is obviously it's it's either or chris it's either or either she's somebody else she read something that told her not to pursue you or you haven't made yourself you know something that like a drug yet you haven't made yourself something that she needs to get a hit of it's either one I, I i can't really tell you which one it is it's either or either she don't care you know if you pursue her again or not or she has high interest and she wants to pursue you but she read something that told her not to pursue you it's gonna be either or all right so it, that's how i'm looking at it it's gonna be either or my thing is i really don't want care as long as a woman is when i reach out to her and she makes a date that's all I worry about. That's all I care about. She's still making herself available. If you going on these dates and you doing everything correct, eventually she will. If she, this, this is how you have to look at this, Chris, because it doesn't matter if she's been schooled or not. If you doing everything right, eventually she going to break that programming. All right? I don't give a fuck what she read that told her not to pursue you. If you make yourself something that she can't live without and something she wants to see more than once a week, she'll break that fucking programming and she'll reach out. Hey, good morning now when that gonna be it's just all depending on you and how good you're seducing her brother all right you got to make her feel make her feel give me something make me feel good all right give us something make her feel good chris all right you got to give us something to make you feel good 
All right, right now she don't really give a shit, Chris. She can take you or leave you. All right. <clears throat> Do you believe that all S's come back if you're on your purpose, especially if you were dumped? Uh, it all depends, bro. It just depends on what's going on in their life also. All right. So here's the thing, bro. A lot of you guys, when do y'all guys reach out to y'all exes? When you in the dating world and your ass ain't found nothing better. So now you want to run your ass and call your ex after you've been dating for six months. You're like, man, fuck this shit. All right. That's the same way it goes with women, guys. If they can't find nothing, you know, they've been out here in six months or a year and all the guys are like dirt bags or none of the guys have jobs or they just, you know, they can't find a good guy or nothing like that. Then they'll come back. If they meet something or they having fun or they meet a bunch of guys and shit like that, that they like and shit like that, you'll never hear from them again. So it just depends on what they got going on. If if, if they having a bad streak or they ain't met all the guys they meet are assholes, you know what I'm saying? Just want sex and they want a relationship, then they'll reach out. If they go out and they meet a guy that they like or whatever, you might not never hear from them again. It just it just according to what they meet. That's some like how we work. All right. I've been broke up with my girl before. And if I got out and I met somebody good, oh fuck her. But if I go out here and all these girls are trash and they playing games and flaking on dates and this, that, and other, I'm here I am, go back, hitting my ex up. Hey, how you doing? What you been up to? All right. So that's the thing with that. It just depends on what she meets. All right. If she meets somebody good, you'll never hear from her again. If she meet a bunch of trash, she'll probably be hitting you up real soon. Grim Reaper, appreciate the five dollars, brother. Ricky Morty, hit on longtime friends. She's sending mixed signals. She told a mutual friend, I'm timid and I might be selling selling for her. Also, doesn't reply for hours, but hits me with good morning text. What do I do? All right, guys. Y'all guys got to understand that women have game too. All right. That's why y'all guys don't seem to understand that. All y'all sitting over here, we playing catch up the women game. All right, the, the, the part of us telling you guys to respond to their text for four hours because they started this shit first. All right, so we just returning the favor. We catching up to their ass. All right, women been doing this shit. We just catching on to this three four hour shit. Women been doing this shit. All right, women was spending three four hours long before all this shit. All before all these dating coaches started talking about that shit. Women been on that shit. We playing catch up around this motherfucker. All right, so all right, so when I see uh mixed signals, I see a woman that's probably got you like on standby. That's what I'm saying. Like she's fucking around with somebody else and you like plan B or whatever the case may be. So I would let her initiate all the fucking contact, bro. I wouldn't initiate no fucking contact. That's how you do that. When you got a woman who's sending you mixed signals, the mixed signals is she trying to keep your ass on standby. Let her do all the fucking pursuing, and then you wait four or five hours. And if she hits you like after five o'clock or something, respond to that shit the next day, all right? Because that's how I always took mixed signals, all right? The bitch juggling too many goddamn dicks is what I look at it, all right? So just let her do all the initiating, bro. Don't you initiate shit. How to get back a girl you lost from your rotation by being needy. She was very interested, even offered a threesome, but I fucked her because I wasn't used to this lifestyle. All right, so anytime you fucked up with anything with a girl like that being needy, guys, you got to let her come back. All right, you done did enough. All right, you done already over pursued, so you got to let her come back. Ain't nothing you can do. Wait, wait till she reach out to you. All right, you done already showed enough neediness and then lower the girl interest. Now you finna show more neediness after she done pulled back and now you finna try to pursue her. That's only gonna make it worse, all right? So just act like a man with options and wait, wait till she reach out to you. Be prepared, you might not never hear from her again. Just putting that out there, all right? You can pull back all you want to. Just be prepared that if you lower this woman's attraction enough, you'll never hear from her again. Or she'll turn into a, a mixed signal girl, all right? This is, this is the epitome of what a mixed signal girl becomes a mixed signal girl comes from a girl that lost attraction and then she come back in your life and she kind of like waves around you kind of like what the fuck is this bitch doing she kind of the epitome like that's exactly what a mixed signal girl comes from it's a girl that you don't lower her attraction some kind of way i don't know maybe it was being needed or something and she just comes back into the picture but she never really like wants to do anything she's just kind of hovering there and you're like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? Are we going to fuck or not? And she kind of like, she said a day. It's just, she's just all over the fucking place. All right. So if she do come back, she probably going to be a mixed signal girl that you can't read. 
or whatever the case may be, just be prepared for that, brother. But that's the epitome of a mixed signal woman, a woman who had interest and you lost it, and now she's back and she's just kind of hovering there and you don't really know what the fuck is going on. She Some days she seems like she want to fuck you, and some days she seems like she want to be your friend. Ben, all well. All well in the business. Appreciate that, brother, Ben. Yeesh Jonas. <clears throat> Shout out to you smashing things. I tell the fellas about traveling, but I check out your game also. Appreciate that, brother. Yes, Jonas. Alan Dyer. What if I can, can't bring a girl to my place? I'm 16 and I will be killed if someone find out. Is there a way to go to her place and fuck still? Thanks, bro. Uh, the thing with this... The thing with this, bro, is that, you know, you're going to have to find a friend or something like that. That's what I would do. Uh, that's, that's the only thing you can do. That's what I used to do when I was your age. Uh, when I was your age, I ain't going to tell you what to do. I'm going to tell you what I used to do. All right. I used to uh, we used to skip school and we'll go back home. All right. So my auntie and I'm going to go to go uh, to work and shit like that. We come back home in the middle of the day. All right. That's what I used to do when I was 16. Not telling you to do that. I'm just telling you what I do. Don't never leave school, guys, to fucking go get no ass, all right? That's part of the reason why my ass was such a loser for so long, because I didn't take school serious, all right? Did y'all just hear what I just said? I used to skip school to come home and get some ass. Part of the reason why my ass was in the basement at 33 years old, all right? Just putting that out there, all right? So don't be skipping school to go get some ass. Or you might find yourself in a basement, okay? There you go. All right, my man Flash. <clears throat> Can you summarize or share from your past experience how you transitioned from the pre-approach, code approach, set date, sexual escalation with key points to be aware? The pre-approach. All right, so <laughs> all right, so he said the pre-approach. So when I hear this, I know this dude done read every fucking pickup book book in the world. He said the pre-approach. What the fuck is that? You know, that when I do this shit. You know, you know, I, I get frustrated sometimes because, you know, y'all guys go out here and y'all listen to all these other asshole. The pre-approach. All right, let's break down the pre-approach. What are we doing doing the pre-approach? All right, are we memorizing some things? I mean, what are we doing right here doing the pre-approach, not the approach, the pre-approach? I got to get warmed up to do the approach. What the fuck is that? All right. Then he said, cold approach. I don't do cold approaches. I think it's beta. I believe in chasing success and I let the women chase me. And when I say chess, uh, chase guys, I mean choosing signals. That's a woman way of chasing you. She's not going to come up and make the approach. <clears throat> but if you make yourself somebody and you there with your swagger and you in your own world, a woman is going to choose. I get it all the fucking time. I went out last night. Girls were choosing all over. I try to turn around. Bitches looking. All right. And I'm standing there like King Almighty. All right. I get it all the fucking time. So <clears throat> here's the thing, guys. Chase your dreams. Make yourself the best option you can. Women will choose. All right. So I don't do crowd approach. All right. Set up the date. I, I don't set the date right there. I get the number and then I set the then the reason the reason this is, guys, that I don't set the date. I know some dating coaches say set the date right there, whatever. And I guess you can. The reason I don't do this is because my schedule is always busy. I generally have to check my fucking schedule, all right? For you losers out there with no fucking life and no friends and no purpose, I guess you can set a date for tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. I don't have time to do that shit. I have a busy fucking schedule, all right? I got shit going on. I ain't got time to, to fit your ass in my schedule right fucking now. I generally got to go and look at things and see when I can fit your ass in, all right? So I'm going to set the date when I call or text, but I'm going to call, all right? And then sexual escalation comes after the date. Now, now, actually, if you want to be, you know, gene with the thing, sexual escalation come on the date also. All right. So from the time you passing your her shit test and all that, the whole date is sexual escalation. All right. So if a woman starts off at an eight or whatever the case may be, and if, if you go on a date and a woman sees you as an eight, you can't fuck up. You really can't fuck a woman. She sees you as a five, six or seven on the first date. All right, her, her, her attraction is too low. You can't raise it that high on the first date. You got to be at least an eight, right? So now throughout the date, I can raise it, pass the shit test, being confident, good conversation. 
nine, and then we get back to the house, I could bring it on up to a 10, all right? So that's the sexual escalation, but the whole date is the escalation. From the time you meet her, the whole thing, you're escalating the sex. She's getting more and more turned on, but you have to be at a certain, you know, in her eyes. You can't be a five in her eyes and escalated to six that night you have to be at least an eight all right but bro uh get rid of i want you guys to get out this overthinking shit. this is overthinking right here the pre-approach like what the fuck is that man 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 the pre-approach oh my god all right make sure you guys go check out this book it is life-changing my guys it is life-changing it's on Amazon. Make sure y'all guys join the Patreon also. The Patreon is lit. I post every day on Patreon. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters. They over here being patient right now while I answer these super chats. All right, my boy, <clears throat> Belina Ben. Hi, AMS. What's the best way to get the number of a hot sales assistant at Zara? She was super engaged with me. Should I tr try doing her shift? Yeah, the same thing, bro, with any woman you meet anywhere. She has to be attracted to you. And you go up and you make a confident approach. Now, I don't know what's going on there or what she's doing, but whatever the situation is, that's how I would make the approach. All right, I don't know what's going on or what she's doing, but I would use that to make my step in. All right. So she says she's a hot sales assistant. I probably would go up to her and it just depends on what she's doing or whatever the case may be. Let's have a thing, say she was eating lunch. I would have said, you ain't offer me none of your lunch. Something like that right there. Just go up to her, you know, something like this, whatever the situation may be. All right. All right, my man right here. Dr. Cuddles. Oh my God. Am as I was appreciating you calling it like it is. What would you tell a guy who struggles with women but is good looking and works on himself a lot? All right, so this is gonna be the, uh, 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 the epitome of a guy who's depending on his looks to attract women. All right, looks only get your foot in the door, gentlemen. Money only get your foot in the door. All that shit only get your foot in the door. All right, that is an issue I had a lot with women when I was younger. I used to depend on my looks, no sexual charm, no masculine frame. All right, and the only women that I could get was the women that had crazy high attraction level to me. All right, so you have to work on your seductive charm. Being good looking for some guys is actually a hindrance. All right, actually handicaps you because it keeps you from developing your other skills of seduction, all right? Less attractive guys end up being better seducers just because that's what they have to do. They've learned it, and good-looking guys just want to rely on all they fucking looks, all right? And you see this with women. What <clears throat> the, the, the fat girls, what they do? They cook, they suck real good, they real nice and sweet because they have to be, they fucking fat. And the girls that are real fine, a lot of them are bitches and rude and this, that, and the other because they can get away with it, all right? And this is essentially what you got. You think that you ain't got to do shit just because you're good looking and you work out and shit. It don't work like that, brother. Seduction. Number one, guys, charisma and seduction, all right? The self-improvement only gets your foot in the door. That's it. It does nothing. Nothing. The money, it, the woman will fuck you, but you'll be classified as a beta male provider. You'll still be fucking her, but you, you fucking as a beta male provider. Not quite the same, gentlemen. Not quite. Beta male providers don't get their dicks up like alpha males. All right? I don't even think beta male providers get their dicks up. Now, I don't, you know, I don't think beta male providers get their dicks up unless they just bought their girl something. You might get it. You might get your balls licked. Now, I don't really think beta male providers get their dicks up. All right, unless you just bought your wife some or took her on a trip or something like that, then all right, she might smell it. But other than that, no, you ain't, it ain't gonna happen. So <clears throat> that's the thing with that, guys. The self improvement only gets your foot in the door. The reason why I harp the self improvement so much that's all some guys wanted was a chance. Bitch, give me a chance. Can I get a chance? That's all some guys want. Some guys can get a chance. All right, some guys didn't get a chance to seduce. All right, they was too broken, too ugly. So that's what the self improvement gonna do. It's gonna get you a get your foot in the door with a lot of women that you normally wouldn't even got a chance with. But guess what, baby? You still got to bring it on home. You still, Doctor Cuddles. You got to bring it on home, baby. You got to bring it on home. You got to work on that seduction. All right, your, your looks ain't gonna get them panties off, baby. All right, that game gonna get them panties off. That's the thing. That's why you struggling. You don't got no seduction. All right, my man, Chinese group. <clears throat> I don't have friends. How can I be better socially? All right, the same way 
that you guys meet women and i've been saying this same way you guys meet women the same way you meet friends man you just go up same way you meet the same way you meet women all right you just go up i had a guy in the club when i was in atlanta come up and got my like he talking about something he came over he's like hey which one you want now i don't live in atlanta but you know which one you want don't even know the dude and i was like shit, i'll take the red one he's like all right i get it and he went over there trying to talk to her like my man or that want to talk to you this that another that's how you make friends guys and i'm like this this dude know how to make fucking friends all right that's how you make friends guys you just go up and introduce yourself and stop talking all right and <clears throat> this is the thing with friends you know what i'm gonna post that friend video this week I, I made it so I got a friend video on Patreon. I posted <clears throat> this week on YouTube, so you help you guys out. The thing with friends is some of them gonna be just like you know girls. You'll go up to them and shit. They don't want to fuck with you. All right, and they gonna be like you'll be like, hey man, how about we go shoot some pool and shit like this? Uh, oh man, uh, shit man, I got a lot man, you know. But give me your number and shit. We'll hook up. Da, da. And then you you call them and shit, and they always got something to do, just like females just like fucking females don't know how to say no they just never got time to do nothing it's the same fucking way but you'll meet guys eventually that y'all connect and they'll make lifelong friends it's the same way guys y'all gotta open y'all fucking mouth man i've been dating this girl for two months but she won't let me in her parents house or initiate contact to dates but she always read it when i asked for a meetup good all right good two months have you fucked in two months, you supposed to have been fucked. I hope you don't fuck. All right, respond to that question, brother, because that's what I need to know. All right, I don't, is she making dates? Is she came out them draws yet? Is what we need to know. All right, from up from Ola. Thanks for the answer about the tennis snap one. What move do you recommend? Since I didn't reply, skip a week. Uh well, now the thing is, I wouldn't even say nothing. I'll just move on. You guys get fascinated, <clears throat> fascinated on these one girls. I would just move on, bro. I wouldn't have nothing else to say about it. That's one fucking girl. You fucked up. Take it as a loss. Now you know. You showed that you was butt hurt. And the reason why I want you to move on, man, because that little butt hurt move you did probably lowered her interest so much, man. It'd be like digging dishes trying to get up out that shit. All right? Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Just fucking move on, bro. Take it as an L. All right? It's over with. Leave it alone. Best place to position yourself in clubs and bars to catch choosing signals. All right? When I when I go to the the, the the bar club or whatever the case may be, I, I, I'm going to just enjoy myself. I ain't going to position myself for choosing signals. That's first right off the bat. I'm just going there to have me some drinks and have me a good time. So I'm not going there trying to, what's the perfect position to get choosing signals? If you're going in there with that mindset, you're going in there with that ass chasing. There you go. You, you, you going in there with an ass chasing choosing signals mindset. So, guys, just because you're in the club and you going in there with choosing signal mindset, you still chasing ass, all right? You still in the mindset of chasing ass. If you go anywhere and you saying, well, I'm just going to wait for choosing signals, that you in the mindset of ass chasing. Y'all guys get that? Stop thinking about women 24-7, all right? That's the thing. Stop thinking about women all the fucking time. Just go out and enjoy yourself. You still in the mindset of ass chasing just because you fucking ain't, ain't, ain't um, uh doing cold approaches you still in the mindset of ass all right my man mo what does it mean if she won't give you her number but tells you to follow her on social media all right so that thing's there she wants you to be a fan all right that's what she wants she wants another fan all right y'all guys go on these day naps sometimes y'all will see some of these women they have on they on the uh day nap thing they'll have their fucking instagram number because a lot of them are there just for that to build up their social media following all right, they just they're looking for fans. All right, this is what she wants. She wants another fan. She wants more free validation. She wants more likes on her pictures. She probably does that with every guy who inboxes her. Follow me on social media. Do I invite this milf with high answer to my birthday in two weeks with my co-workers to show how social post or do a first date with just her? Listen, never do a date unless y'all already fucking. All right, unless y'all already fucking, then it don't matter if you listen you are not going to seduce a woman out with co-workers all right if you already fucked her then you don't got to worry about that all right but if you not fucked her you need to be in a seductive mindset what's going to happen when you out with your friends you're going to be in a friendly mindset you ain't going to be in that seductive frame all right you're going to be coercing with your friends talking with your friends in anything but a sexual seduction mode all right you trying to seduce a woman 
All right. So no dates with friends until y'all fucking. All right. And even then, I don't like it. But I get that if you, you know, you might want to invite her to a uh, thing with your coworkers and shit like that. But none of that until you fucking. Once you fucking in, who gives a fuck? All right. But up to then, you need to be in a seductive mind frame, bro. MS, what your view on RSD community, RSD Max? I don't really, I don't really follow they um uh, follow they shit. All right. I, you know. So I, don't, I I really can't I don't I don't what I, all I know is they mainly do pickup shit right I I really can't even speak on that shit all right to be quite honest with you I just know they to me they kind of weird all right but you know shout out RSD man you know but I don't really keep up with that shit at all I I follow dating coaches these are these are classic pickup artists all right I I you know I I can't I don't really want to learn shit from them all right how to pick up women I think they overcomplicate shit. All right, it ain't that hard to go up and approach women. All right, I think, and and they do. I don't. I don't think I ever heard them say nothing about ever tell guys nothing about self improvement. All right, I think the most I they try to come up with all these different strategies and names on how you should approach a mindset. But hey, if it works for them, then knock yourself out, bro. How can I do a Skype session with you? Go to alphamalestrategies.com, bro. Any of you guys want a Skype session? Go to alphamalestrategies.com. If a girl is sending choosing signals and high energy, should you show intent to her to clap the cheek faster? All right, so here's the thing. I intend to clap the cheek faster with every chick. Choosing signals, whatever, whatever, guys. If I go on a date with a woman I perceive as having low interest, <clears throat> I treat her just like a girl that has high interest. I treat them all the same. I'm always trying to progress it to sex. If you guys are alpha males, you always are trying to progress it to the next level. Always. I'm always trying to goddamn hit a home run. All right. I know I probably won't, but I'm setting up for the next time. All right. So always, every day you go on, you always trying to get the buddy, booty cheeks. What do you do when you're trying to flirt with a nine or a 10 and her fat friend tries to make a claim to you, trying to insert herself into the combo? All right, so generally, it's what, what I'm saying right here now, this could be a, a cop blocker. Now, generally with a cop blocker, I'm, I'm trying to see if her friend is interested, you know, she probably wouldn't be in this conversation, all right? So this is the thing what I'm talking about right here. This is the thing what I'm talking about right here. When you see a girl out with her friend and shit like that right there, you guys need to make this shit quick, all right? Because... Her friend is going to try to get jealous or whatever the case may be. You taking her friend away from her. This is why I would just go up and make a two-minute approach, get the number, and get the fuck on, guys. All right? That's how I handle I don't ever worry about the cop block or something like that. And like I said, generally with the situation, it depends on what the situation was. I probably can make a joke or something. But y'all know I hold a masculine frame even when I make a joke. Y'all y'all guys see how I make my videos. I hold a masculine frame even when I'm <clears throat> even when I'm joking. All right? So I probably get, you know, maneuver the situation. It just depends. It's a lot of variables in this. But in a situation like this, and you trying to flirt, what the fuck are you flirting for? We don't listen, bro. We don't flirt over here. We fuck. All right. Flirting is for bitches. We don't flirt. All right. You make moves. All right. You go up and make an approach. What the, how you flirting? Are you rubbing through your hair like this? How you how y'all guys flirt? I want to know how y'all guys flirt. Are you doing like I want to know how do men flirt? I don't know. Are you winking like this? I I I just don't get what the fuck this flirting shit is about. All right, we don't flirt. We fuck, bro. All right, MS wonder what kind of music you into? What's your view on emotional R and B music like Drake and The Weeknd? I love Drake and The Weeknd. They my favorite art artist, bro. That's that's pretty much my style of music. I actually like uh, Playboy Cardi too. Uh, he got like a crazy style, and uh, XX Uh I actually got into him after he died. I really didn't even follow him while he was alive. Once once he died, I checked out his music, and I actually liked his style. All right, so she haven't haven't fucked, but she sucked three times in a row. So she has a boyfriend. When y'all see this, a girl who's who will suck your dick but won't fuck you. This is a girl that has a boyfriend in her head. She thinking like, if I suck his dick, that's not cheating. All right, that's how some women think. Bitches all cheating. Just want to say thank you for all your videos you got on Patreon. I'll be picking up the book soon. Appreciate that sticky sweet. This is the book, guys. The life changing book. The number one 
new release on Amazon for two weeks in a row. Appreciate all the guys' support. Make sure you go on Amazon and get it. Appreciate that, bro. $13.49 on Amazon for the hard copy and $9.99 for the ebook. Appreciate it. Life changing book. Yeah. How will you make move in the bedroom? The same way I make move on the couch and everything, bro. All right. Now, always if go watch my physical escalation video, creating sexual tension and physical escalation video. Because I damn sure don't want to take 10 minutes to break, go through that shit step by step. MS, you the man. Thanks for all the advice. Just bought the book as well. Just wanted. Do you take one or one calls or any type of consultation? Yeah. Go to alpha male strategies.com, bro. Go to alpha male strategies.com. Anybody want online coaching, go to alpha male strategies.com. And you have to look at it as an investment, guys. I'm not cheap. My time is not cheap, but you have to look at it as an investment. That's how you, that's how you have to look at it. All right. Should I check girl for not swallowing or that's being butthurt? No. See, guys, here's the thing. It's levels to this shit. All right. In other words, a woman, listen, it takes a certain amount of interest for a woman to lick your balls. It takes a certain amount of interest for a woman to suck your dick. It takes a certain amount of interest for a woman to swallow. And it takes a certain amount of interest for a woman to lick your ass, baby. All right. It takes certain. Those are different levels of interest. All right. So if she's not swallowing you yet, she's not on that interest level yet. All right. That's the thing with that. So you got to improve her interest level. You're not there yet. Keep on working on her. Keep on improving your seduction. But she's not there yet as far as the seduction. All right. Dr. Cuddles is back. What's up, Dr. Cuddles? Back in this bitch. Now that guy bought up flirting to Kenya on that some women call you creepy when you bring up something sexual even if they initiate the combo creepy guys is creepy is I'm not attracted to you that's what creepy is all right creepy is that's why you see most women classify creepy as you know older men who they not attracted to that's what women call creepy all right if a woman if 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 fucking uh Trey songs did any of that shit oh they think they love it but if your creepy ass unattractive ass to them do it it's creepy so i wouldn't get caught up into this creepy shit guys that's all based off of females attraction level all right i'm 24 now not getting married nor selling with any woman i like the idea of having kids around age 40. how could that situation work a p diddy kind of thing Well, here's the thing with that. The, the, the thing with that is you would uh, just accept the fact that you're probably going to pay child support. That's how you would have to interpret that. That's And I, me building this uh, Alpha Male Strategies brand, I'm probably going to have to settle with that one day, all right, is that I'm going to also end up uh, probably paying child support because I'm going to want to have one kid because this is going to be a brand that I want. I want I want to have a son that teaching the next generation of beta males how to fuck these hoes to sleep. All right. Until I started this 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 brand right here, I never gave it a thought by having no child. Never. I was like, fuck no. But now that I don't built this shit, I want this shit to carry on long past I'm dead. So I want my son to be teaching other beta males how to fuck these hoes to sleep. And I want him to pass it on to his son. So that's how I want this shit to work. So I never until I built this brand, I never gave a thought about having a kid. But now that I don't built this fucking brand. I definitely want to leave it leave it to somebody. All right, appreciate that. So I guess we take some more phone calls. All right, make sure y'all join the Patreon and go get the book on Amazon. Let me get another phone call. Now nah, guys over here waiting a long ass time. Let's see. Yo, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? I had a few questions I have to ask. Go ahead. Two, actually. So, right now I'm in college or whatnot. So I was seeing how do you, how would you go about talking to a girl that in, that's in one of your classes, like that you would have to see often, like multiple times throughout the week. 
How, okay, so you basically saying how you would maintain attraction with a girl that you work with or at school with and you see every fucking day. That's what you're saying? Yeah. That just don't smother her, brother. All right? Just don't smother her and don't be always coming up starting these innocuous, stupid conversations. All right? I haven't worked, I haven't talked to a girl that I that I was, like, had that situation with, but I did, was f fooling around with a girl that worked at a gym this years ago, whatever the case might be. I went in her face every fucking five minutes. And I damn sure didn't come over and you know, had nothing to say by every guy that was talking to her and shit like this. All right. So the situation is you probably gonna see her mm -hmm. engaging with other males and shit throughout the day. You just gotta don't say nothing about that. All right. Because if if if, if she had a work or school and shit like this, she gonna engage with other dudes. So you never wanna be like, so who was that guy that you was talking to with the red book bag today? Don't do that shit. Cause see, you're gonna see all this. All right. And so when I was talking to the girl at the gym. Of course, guys up there all day, and I'm like, what the hell? You know, I'm thinking, but I ain't gonna say nothing to her about it. But I'm thinking, like, what the hell he up there so long for? All right. So just don't never show those insecurities okay. and shit like this. And don't never be like kind of hovering around, like smothering her a little bit. Like every time she turn around, your ass there standing like a little creep. All right. So just basically live your life, but don't be smothering her at the at job or school or wherever you see her at, bro. All right. And another one, I have to ask was. I'm in school and I'm like working on, I've been working on my purpose. You know, I've been following you for a long time. So working on my purpose and things. Um, so I've been making like this money online, but I wanted to like go into a different like area, switch like, not like switch purposes, but like, I mean, yeah, it is pretty much like that switching purposes. So I'll see how would you maintain that? Like, because you know, the man that chases two rabbits catches none. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how would you, like, how would you balance that out? Because I feel like sometimes when I go and I hustle in like one area, let's say if I do it in one area, I'll, I'll see like I lack in the other way. Like I see the results and like I like kind of like brush things off and like I'm, I'm kind of dropping in that area. Well, this is the thing. Which one you care about the most? Which one you like the most? If you had to pick, which one? Which one gives you more passion? Which one you had the most passion about? I'm not, we ain't even talking about which one pays the most money. Which one that you just, you wake up in the morning, it's on your mind, you go to bed at night, it's on your mind. Which one is that? Yeah, it's the one I'm trying to get into right now. The, that, that's, yeah. the, that's the one I would it's go not, into. Yeah, it's the one that's not making me money. Yeah. That's, the, that's the one. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. Though. Here's the thing. You can make money off anything. You just got to figure out how you're going to make money off of it. You can make money off anything. All right. You just gotta you gotta sit down and figure out how you're gonna make money off of it. But it's a way you can make money off of it. Please believe that. All right. There's a, it's always a way, bro. I don't know what it is, but it's always a way. Maybe you get a Skype session where you kind of young, you probably can't afford one, but it's always a way you can make money off any fucking thing. That's the problem. Guys, yeah. guys have to sit down and figure out how can they make money off of it. But that's the that's the that's the route okay. I would go. Understand that I got a passion for fitness and I got a passion for this, but this I got more passion for. It it drives me. I'm I'm I, I when I when I go through these things like this, or guys send me, hey man, guys are like, um, hey man, I I I couldn't get a girlfriend, man. I started following your advice. Now I got three girl rotation, man. That shit there is just it, it, that's what I live for, bro. That's what I like to see because I know what the world the field of. <laughs> Yeah, she. All right, bro. But th yeah, thank you. Right. No problem. I appreciate it. All right. All right. So somebody has sent me another super chat. <clears throat> what y'all playing a numbers game over there? Yo. Yo, what's Hello? up, bro? What's up? Uh, what's up, bro? What's up with you? Um, so, um, I had a question, man. Um, I took this, uh, high interest girl out on a date. Mm -hmm. and it went pretty well. I caught her back to my place mm -hmm. and did the whole um, physical escalation thing. And mm -hmm. uh, it got pretty far. Like she had her tits on and everything. Mm -hmm. But after that, she kind of pulled back and I didn't like bug her or anything, but she said she had work in the morning and she wanted to leave. So she just took an Uber and left mm -hmm. and she hasn't like contacted me since. So I just wanted to like know how should I go about that? Should I like text her like or say what? 
Well, the thing is, have you reached out one time? Yeah, I reached out one time. Like, uh, I reached out like one time, but it's been like two weeks since I reached out. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not never double text a girl. All right. So more than likely, you didn't escalate things. Yeah. right. You didn't escalate things right. You probably took her too fast, bro. And you got her uncomfortable. All right. That when you when you're doing this escalation stuff, bro, you got to take your time. You made her uncomfortable. That's what that was. All right. You freaked her the fuck out. All right. She she didn't feel comfortable around you. You did some. Maybe she was telling you to slow down and you ain't know how to stop it. You did something. All right. When you seducing these women like this, bro, you got to ease into it and shit. Make sure they're comfortable. You made her uncomfortable. All right. And she didn't feel like that. She when she tell you to stop or something like that. When a woman tells you to stop and you're trying to escalate the sex, you stop right then. Whoop, you stop right then. She's if she say stop or something like you stop. You know what I'm saying? It ain't stop ain't cold for try harder. Stop means you fucking stop. All right. So you probably didn't stop, but you probably thought like, no, nah, she want me to try a little harder. Listen, when a woman say stop, you stop. Wait a few minutes, wait 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever the case may be, and then you could try again. All right. That's how that works, bro. But going forward, guys, y'all let this be a lesson to y'all. When a woman tell y'all to stop, you fucking stop. All right. He made this woman feel uncomfortable and now she don't want to even fuck with him no more. Because essentially what happens is now if she get back with him, she don't know if he can contain himself or handle himself to stop when she asks him to stop. All right. So now she don't want to have nothing else to do with him. All right. So y'all guys, stop means stop. Stop does not mean try a little harder, sir. Stops mean you fucking stop. Got it, bro? Yeah. All right, bro. Go on, don't, but don't reach, don't reach out, don't reach out to her no more. All uh, right, whatever the case may be, because you know what I'm saying you. It, when y'all guys lower women in interest like this and shit, and y'all freak them out like this right here, it ain't nothing this man can do to recover this woman's interest. That's lost. Just move on, take it as a learned experience. Guys, y'all don't think I ain't never did this shit before? I done done this shit before. All right, every man done got carried away, had a girl, and he could feel he getting close, and then he the woman tell him to stop, and he just keep going and freak the woman out. I done done that shit before in my earlier days, so I already know what you did. Every man, every man my age has done that bullshit before. So I already know what you done did. You you saw the titties and you got excited and you like, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. And she telling you to stop and you can't stop. All right. Next time, you know, when a woman say stop, if I don't stop, this is what's going to happen. So let it be a learning experience from that. From my experience in the past, I learned from that shit and I ain't want that shit to happen no more. So when a woman told me to stop, my ass stopped. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. Yeah. Guys, stop means Stop. Stop does not mean continue to try harder, sir. <clears throat> All right. Fan of Playboy Cardi, too. Huge support of your channel. Got me out some bad times. Had a bad drop before. Big drop for looking forward to buying your book. Appreciate that. This is the book, guys. Make sure you go to Amazon and check it out. The link is in the description. I put the link in the description. Go to the link. Check the description. I got the ebook. All that is in the description. Appreciate that. My man, Dr. Cuddles. My man, Dr. Cuddles want to fuck these holders. Let by this fifth super chat. Should I change my username? 84 matches on Tinder. Dr. Cuddles, if, if, if that's your username on Tinder, I would get rid of that shit. That is beta as fuck. All right. Shout out my man, Doug. I know my man, Doug, is in this bitch. Shout out my man, Doug. All right, let me get another call. Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, man. What's up, bro? Yo, bro. Hey. Hey, I just read your book, man. The weekend it came out in two days, man. I love it. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, man. You fucking these hoes to sleep, though. Are you fucking these hoes to sleep? I am fucking these hoes to sleep, man. <laughs> and like you, I live in New York City. I, right. uh, I'm a few years older than you. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a little older now, and I don't really have time to hit up the streets like I used to. Right. But as I get a little older over 40 mm -hmm. i'm trying to think man you know what's my what's my game you know my my weekly sort of like where am i going to go to date girls and find these girls because i you know i hit the online it works really well mm -hmm. and i do go out sometimes mm -hmm. but it's not regular mm -hmm. and i just need a routine you know to, mm -hmm. to, to to go to the store i date girls in their 20s mm -hmm. i like to date girls that are uh, professional and successful like you mm -hmm. uh and i thought you might have some, some perspective on that oh bro i go to these nice little spots uh 305 on Fifth Avenue, man. Uh, you got uh, the 48 Lounge. I go out to these high-end spots, man. So this is the thing. If, if you're a guy 
and you wonder like when you get our age i'm 38 he's probably like over 40. when you get our age guys you want to you know dress nice with your slacks a dress up suit uh, not suit but uh dress up shirt whatever the case may be and i go to high-end spots so i can meet quality women all right and it won't be a bunch of teenagers bopping around and whatever the case may be it's gonna be high class women so like uh 48 lounge uh what's that other spot it's, it's a bunch of them man i can't think of the fucking name of my right now but it's a lot of high-end spots even even the 40 40 brother uh if you go like 12 12 30 at night a lot of high-end sexy women bro that you go you can sit at the bar or you and your man can get a table it's not that expensive uh three four hundred bucks to get a table and like i tell guys if just two of y'all and y'all got a table and you pay 350 dollars, if if we breaking it down okay you paid to get in you paid to get in you know if you got a table you don't pay to get in you come straight on in you got to wait in the line and you get a real bottle of alcohol and now i don't gotta buy bitches drinks so now if i see some girls i want baby come on and get your drink all right so instead of me buying these 20 dollars water down ass you know drinks at the bar i got something i got a, i got a trap now to bring the females i walk around like hey what's up ladies what y'all up to well me and my man over here we got a table you pay 350 dollars. you like you fucking king guys so that's the thing with that guy so if you break things down when i go out by the time i pay to get in have three drinks i'm out a hundred and some bucks any fucking way so that's why I, I never understood why guys don't get bottles in clubs because at least you're gonna get real fucking alcohol and now you know i got something to invite the girls to do hey why don't y'all come over and have a drink with us all right so that's the thing with that guys it, it, uh, uh, my man if you older and, and I'm, I'm saying this for the older guy because he's gonna be more established then you guys i don't expect you guys to go and pay for a bottle but i'm talking about this man here. he's gonna be older more well established and i'm telling you bro your game gonna jump tenfolds tenfolds all right the girl's gonna look at you and you can invite them over just think how much money you spend when you go get those watered down ass drinks just think about it so just go to the high-end spots bro if you don't want to do the bottle i understand that too but i'm just telling you just try it one time and then come back and tell me ams you was right that's all i ask good stuff man i'm gonna give it a try try Thanks one a lot, try man. one time try one time and you're gonna forever the rest of you. but don't do it by yourself make sure it's two or three of your friends so all the burden don't fall on you because you know that's that's i don't want to spend 350 dollars for a bottle by my goddamn self so get three friends y'all split it and now you spent like 120 bucks and now you can go out and get girls and y'all can bring them to the table and shit like that so do like do like two other friends or at least one but preferably two others so it's now split three ways and now y'all got something to you know talk tell the girl hey come on have a drink with us whatever the case may be all right you know they want to sit their tired ass now but just give it try one time and come back to me and you can be like man i should have been did that and i'm gonna tell you this because my man talked me into it because i used to be against it until i tried it and then i thought about it man i'm sitting over here spending 20 bucks for these watered down ass drinks and i'm standing all night and i paid to get in Fuck, I'm out 120 bucks any fucking way. All right, so get out of try, bro. All right, man. Thanks again. All right, bro. All right, my man. Girl at my workplace was giving me heavy <clears throat> choosing signals, so I asked her out. She said no, and now one day she is silent, almost fearful. The next day she is hyped up. How do I treat her? All right, she all over the goddamn place. All right, so the thing with this is. She said no, and now one day she is silent, almost fearful, and the next day she is hyped up. How do I treat her? I just let her come to me, bro. All right, this is the epitome of mixed signals. All right, so when I see a woman with mixed signals like this right here, I think you did something to lower her attraction. And, and when I say lower her attraction, I don't mean directly with her. She could have just saw you one day doing something. And she, you just lower her attraction. Well, the case women are all over the place, guys. All right, one day they want this and. Th they all over the goddamn place but what i would do is i would let her come to me i would not initiate contact with her or nothing like that or ask her out or nothing like this when i see a woman acting like this right here i let her do every fucking thing all right and guys please understand i run into shit like this with these mixed signals and shit too when i see that i let the woman do everything i don't even do no pursuing or nothing i let them do every fucking thing i won't even ask them out they'll have to ask me out hey when you want to go out so when I see that bullshit, they have to ask me. I don't have time to engage in women with these little childish ass games and mind games and mixed signals. I don't even play around with that bullshit. 
I'm 21 and women older and younger say I'm handsome and I'm mature, but I always think I'm innocent until they get to know me. Is this good or bad for my image? There ain't nothing wrong with being uh, mature, bro. That's good. That means that you probably carry yourself in a masculine frame. That's how I'm looking at that. You probably don't play around. You probably have a very strong masculine frame. That's very good, especially at 21. That's very good, bro. My man here talk about girls with BDP, BPD. What the fuck is BPD? Somebody tell me what the fuck is BPD. I never heard of that shit before. Is that more pickup slang? P-U-E, P-U-A slang? Because I never heard of it. Bipolar disorder. All right. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So, the, it, if you're talking about a serious bipolar disorder, guys, then, you know, she need to go get help. But I'm going to tell y'all what I think of bipolar disorder. What y'all classify as bipolar disorder, I call this coming in and out of masculine and feminine energy. All right. I'm talking about with you, all right? So, Because a lot of these people y'all talking about got bipolar disorder. They ass ain't got bipolar disorder at work, do it. When that boss around, do it. Oh, they got get shit done or uh, order, all right? So this is the thing with this, guys. Y'all guys got to look at this shit with this bipolar shit is that it they coming in and out of feminine and masculine energy. So they what you doing is reflecting off them, all right? So women coming in and out of feminine and masculine energy is how you coming off. All right. They attraction women attraction level wane from how you acting. All right. If you acting like a man, she's going to be feminine. The reason why you saying that she bipolar is because she's jumping from feminine to masculine energy. So you thinking she bipolar. But let's take a look at your ass. All right. You coming from feminine to masculine energy, too. That's why she all over the goddamn place. All right. So you need to hold a solid masculine frame so she can hold a feminine frame. If you jumping all back and forth between feminine and masculine energy, well, then she's going to be jumping between feminine and masculine energy. All right? So let's look at your ass. Maybe you bipolar. All right? I told you guys, we're not going to just blame women over here. We're going to hold y'all ass to the fire too, right? All right? So the thing is, guys, if y'all see a woman bipolar or jumping from feminine to masculine energy, let's just look at your ass. Take a look at your, go look in the mirror and let's see what you're doing. Let's see if you jumping from feminine to masculine energy also, all right? Because that's what put a woman in her masculine energy, your ass being in your feminine energy, all right? So maybe you bipolar too. Maybe y'all both need to go get some bipolar uh, medicine or something because both of y'all ass are bipolar. Now, my man right here, the inner peace pursuit, if it's a serious thing, I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm, I'm talking about I know it's some serious shit out there. But a lot of y'all guys classify these women having bipolar disorder because they jumping from feminine energy to masculine energy. That means that one minute they're ma feminine and the next minute she fucking masculine energy bitch. All right? And you classify that as bipolar. But in actuality, let's look at your ass. All right. We need to we need to look at your ass, too. Y'all guys need to hold some fucking accountability. All right. Maybe your ass needs some bipolar medicine too. Stay out that feminine energy and she can stay in her masculine energy. How about that? All right. All right. My man here said, Hey, MS, thank you for all your videos. What are some tips and strategies you can give to help me remain focused on my purpose and not distracted from them hoes? I'm a young, upcoming cameraman. All right. So here's the thing, bro. <clears throat> Damn. Now I'm getting tired of hearing me say, Here's the thing. <laughs> but here's the thing. The thing is, guys, you're going to have to take a break. And I know it hurt, man. I know, I know them, them, them titties feel good, don't it, boy? But the thing is, guys, y'all guys got to take a break from women sometime to a, a get your goals off the ground. Guys, I would not have this book published. I would not have 2,600 patrons right now if I was around here chasing ass and shit like this right here. All right? I got all this done because I took a break from women bottom fucking line so if you want your goals to get accomplished them bitches might got to go completely completely maybe you keep two on the weekend all right maybe you keep a saturday and sunday girl just to you know get your rocks off but monday through friday lock in and go after your goals no women none you know, if your mama want to come over seconds. if your mama want to come over say mama I ain't seeing no women monday through friday you gotta come over on saturday all right i don't care if it's your mama who it is all right i'm on my purpose all right, you tell her that. All right, you lock in and get that shit go. That's the thing, guys. 
a sacrifice is worth it guys i'm set for life off a year that i took the sacrifice this book i neil strauss is still making money off that book he wrote god knows how long all right that's the thing seconds. you set yourself up for life all right i'll be making money off this book to the day i die all right to the day i fucking die off a sacrifice that i made for a year less than a year y'all guys understand that that's called a sacrifice i sacrifice and now i can do that i make money when i sleep i want you guys making money when you sleep but you're gonna have to fucking sacrifice it ain't gonna fall from the fucking sky guys you gonna have to fucking sacrifice no ways around it guys Thanks for the game, AMS. It's much needed. Appreciate that. This is true. How do I get a side chick if my woman is always around, always home? <laughs> Ten here's, seconds. Here's the thing, guys. Contrary to what y'all believe, if you're in a relationship, I think that you should just go on and tell your girl you want to be in an open relationship. And the thing with this has nothing to do with me trying to be on some high more ethics bullshit. This just comes down to me not wanting to look over my shoulder. All right. That's what that boils down to. Y'all know I don't get into the fucking um, high ethics, moral bullshit. Ain't nobody got time for that headache or wondering, am I going to get caught in this and that shit? I nobody got time for that bullshit, guys. All right. So you need to go home and tell your girl that you want to see other people. And if she want to go, she can go. Ain't nobody got time for this cheating shit. And that ain't got nothing to do with some high moral ethics bullshit. I ain't even on that bullshit. I'm just on a, I don't want to get my goddamn head in a swivel looking around all the fucking time wondering where this girl at. That's what I'm on. Ain't nobody got time for that bullshit. That's what I would do, bro. I would just man up and tell her I want to see other people. The only thing I ever told y'all guys to do is if a woman asks you if you want to be in, if you look at, is a relationship something you can see in your future and tell her, yeah, if the right woman come along. That's it. That's all I ever said. I did not tell y'all guys to go out here and lie and cheat and steal. Contrary to what those other dating coach said, they, they ain't never, you ain't never heard me say that shit. The only thing I said, if a woman asks you if it's a relationship, something that you would want, say, yeah, the right woman come along. And they classify that as a lie. It is stupid to lie to women. All right, a sloppy seconds bitch that had me on standby hit me back up earlier this week, but I got a new number yesterday. Do I let her know or charge it? Yeah, I would let her know, bro. I would let her know, let her know to come over and suck this dick. That's how you handle those sloppy seconds bitches. That, the sloppy seconds bitches guys are the bitches who ran off and now they got their ass back around. All right, so yeah, you hit her up. <clears throat> well, I will, yeah, I will hit her up and get her a new number and say, hey, this is my new number right here. Don't ask her out. None of that bullshit. Let's see what she say. The girl at work, she had no but offered to meet in the halftime at a football game, make it a public day. I declined. Next day, I trolled her about how good the game was. Yeah, so, uh, bro, ain't, ain't that wrong with a public date? I don't see nothing wrong with a public date. I would have did I would have did the public date, but it's we would have. I would have got to the seducing after the date. All right, ain't nothing wrong with that. All dates are public. When you're in a restaurant, that's public. Uh, Art of Seduction. No, I haven't read Robert Greene's book. Um, I got my own Art of Seduction. I haven't read Robert Greene's book. I haven't I haven't read a lot of contrary to popular popular belief. I haven't read a lot of a dating coach book, guys. A lot of I would say 80 90 percent of my shit just come from trial and error. I would say eighty percent of my shit just come from trial and error. The shit y'all say, see y'all see me make me doing, I, I talk about, I done made all the mistakes. Every fucking mistakes, trial and fucking error. All right, guys, my time is up. Make sure y'all guys go check out the book on Amazon. Appreciate y'all support. If you ain't joined Patreon, join Patreon. All that shit's in the link. I'll holler next time, baby. Peace. Clap them hands on the way out of here. Appreciate you, Doug. I'll see y'all next Sunday, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. My man, Brandon Rose. All right, I'm getting out of here.